Good morning from Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Oh, we got a we got a late minute edition. We'll pop TJC in. Oh, way to make an entrance, mate. You've you've literally just thrown me off my intro. <laughs> come on in, come on in. This is the members monthly live stream. Uh, we've got Matthew Comstock in the house. How are you, Matthew? Good, good, good to see everybody. Articulated Chad rocking his own articulated baseball jersey. Yes, sir. T J C coming in late. Evening. How are you, buddy? Bat fan Bat. John, a face I've not seen before. How are you, John? Hi, Johnny Sorensen. And bringing in the rear, <laughs> Booth Commander. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, hello. We'll say a quick hello to the chat. Uh, David's here giving us a. Uh, Oh, where is it? There it is. David here bringing in the Cobra Clutch and hi, fellas. Cindy Kaufman says hello, uh, channel member and channel member there. So if you're a channel member, you should be able to see a link in the community tab if you would like to join us. They gone says nice. Have not been live for one of these in a while. Well, good to see you, buddy. Classified drop in two ninety nine Australian dollary do saying out at the moment, but have a good stream, y'all. Um, that's all right. Have fun yourself. Phil, treasures for Trigger. He's not feeling well today, so he can't make it. But good oh. to see you, Phil. Hope you feel better, mate. Feel better, Phil. Poor Phil. Attorney in Eclipse. Hello. And Sarge can't make it today. <laughs> Ryan Sweeney, you guys have a great show. We're going to give it our best shot. And then Miss Detty 16. Evening. Am I saying that right, Daddy? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Perfect. Well, uh, we don't have games today because Games Master Adam is doing a, a youth retreat. Uh, he's a youth pastor. He's got a bunch of DVDs um, that he's sharing with his uh, with his youth group. So that'll be a fun weekend for them. Oh, Jules here. How are you, mate? Master Versal, Toy Hunter, Eldor, and Pericles, Dragon Ball Z. Just got back from taking the recycling down the hill. Well, you just roll it down, wouldn't you? You don't have to go down with it. Let gravity do the work. <laughs> yep. How dare Adam abandon us to go and look after a bunch of children? I don't know. <laughs> oh, youth pastors, man. <laughs> no, he's a good guy. He'll be back uh, and in greater numbers. <laughs> so, I thought we'd do a bit of show and tell today. Uh, if anyone's got anything they want to show or if they've got anything they want to tell, uh, we can do that today because I've got some stuff here from Articulated Chad. I've got some Ooh. things that I want to um, open up on camera because I, uh, I I bought a big thing. Um, so you'll have to uh, bear with me while I go through some of the little things that came with this big thing. Uh, yeah, and then overall, just just hanging, hanging with the kids. Uh, Matthew Comstock, you've got a bit of a bone to pick with Space Commander right here, so we might as well Oops. get the uh, gre we'll get the grievances out of the way first. Uh oh. No, oh, no, this this has to do with the promo you did for the the blood for the Baron stuff. I I, I couldn't resist it. Yes, yeah, it'll be all long. out. <laughs> I almost had a heart attack when uh, Jim sent me the PayPal request. Yeah, it, it's tricky the the the, the shipping because uh, f first of all, it's such a heavy book to begin with, and uh, second of all, to ship it overseas. You know, I, I was saying the other day, I used to I used to ship stuff over the Atlantic all the time, um, you know, a few years ago. But nowadays, the, the weather, the pricing and the shipping is, is just going up and up and up. Can't keep up with it all. But yes, it is a it is a, a mighty book. This is the previous edition. Palatoy Collector's Guide for Action Force by Jim the Baron Marshall. And I, I have a, do you guys remember a few weeks ago, we, we were just about to go live and I, I came on and I said how I was really upset about something. What happened yeah. was, while I was getting ready for that show, this got knocked over. Uh-oh. <laughs> so when I'm holding it up like this, you guys can't see, I'm actually holding the cover on. The cover got oh, ripped. No. Oh, no. Oh. Massive dent here and here. A load of pages got torn where it, it fell down off the shelf and it hit every other yeah. shelf on the way down. Oh, I was, no. I was, it, it didn't just fall. It got demolished. Mm. I was absolutely devastated because we have these like magnetic shields up here that are good for stopping meteors and stuff. But if yeah. it's like a small meteor, 
sometimes gets through, hit the hull, the hog station went wonky, the book went flying, and before I knew it, it hit every shelf on the way down. So I it then... Reminds me of, it reminds me of Homer Simpson falling down the ravine and, and hitting everything <laughs> on the way down. <laughs> and then they try to lift him out with the helicopter and yeah. bang his head on the way up, and then they couldn't get anyway. Oh, man. It, it was like that. So... I, I messaged Jim and I, I threw myself on his mercy and said, please, you've got to help me out. <laughs> you know, are you going to do the third? Are you going to do a third printing of the book? And uh, that's when he said, yes, I will, but only for a short period. So as soon as I got the go ahead from him, I messaged Zazel. And I was like, we've got to we've got to let people know because uh, we're, we're literally getting messages all the time from people asking about the book and where can they get it. And we haven't been able to offer it to anyone because it's been out of print for, for the last however long. But uh, once I... <laughs> Once, once the heartbreak led me to <laughs> to the knowledge that we were going to get a third <laughs> printing, I make sure everybody knew. But yes, unfortunately, that um. Oh, hello, Mr. Space Commander. <laughs> so, Mr. Space, Space Commander, Commander Mr. Space That's Commander a... is in the house. I have an apology to make to Mr. Space Commander. Uh, I believe that uh, every time we do one of these lives, it's very late in the evening over there, and sometimes Space Commander will be smacking that bell and hitting. <laughs> it crashes in the house. And hit, yeah, hit that bell. <laughs> poor space commander, poor Mrs. Space Commander has to listen to that damn bell go off. Uh, so personally, uh, hello and welcome, but sorry at the same time. For that. <laughs> damn it's, bell. it's it's not too late at the moment. It's uh, it's uh, eleven p.m. over here. But yeah, the oh, yeah. Uh, the the bell, uh, the GoFundMe is currently at two thousand eight hundred fifty-five dollars with eighty-two backers. So. We're, oh, nice. we're nearly to the we're nearly to the huh. next landmark. Well, cool. uh, on, we'll just say a quick hi to Crash. How are you, buddy? What's going on? Uh, and we'll quickly just uh, some new people in the chat. So Gap After Dark, how are you? Uh, Blues, channel member Blues, how are you, Blues? Rolando, how are you, buddy? Oh, good, I'm forgiven. Oh, good, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. It's, uh, yeah. It, it must be tough living with such a hero, though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Boy, have you got the wrong end of the stick? <laughs> well, but yeah, mate, well, I don't know. We'll have to get her on here one day so we can hear the inside scoop on what it's like living with Space Commander up in the Lord. space station. <laughs> So let's uh, let's let's jump over to John. John, tell us a bit about yourself, man. This is the first time you've been on here, at least on camera. Yeah, sure. Um, I live in Perth. Um, I'm uh, Johnny Sorensen, so I've been watching your recent streams over the last six months or so. Uh, born in New Zealand, spent twenty years in Australia now. Citizen can't kick me out if you want to, but. We we steal all the Kiwis anyway. So if there's a famous if there's a famous Kiwi, we'll say that they're famous Australians. Yeah, I, 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 I know, I've been um, harassing um, Phil on his channel lately. <laughs> <laughs> Phil can take harassment though. He's such a genuine yeah. bloke. He's There's got a, a good can, sense of humor. Yeah. yeah, he does. He's a good bloke. Uh, so John Perth, I used to uh, I used to live in Perth. I, I went to school in Perth. Yeah. Um, What's up? Oh, multiple. Um, so we we lived. The last place we lived was in Mandurah. Um, yeah. We lived in Guildford for a while, yeah, South Guildford. And um, yeah, I went to high school in uh, near Guildford. Uh, in uh, where was it? Near Midland, which was I don't recommend going yeah. near. Yeah, uh, I've, yeah, I've been to every. I haven't lived in every suburb, but I've been to every suburb around here. I've lived in. Bayswater, Northbridge, South Fremantle, and I live in Spearwood. And I've, you and lived I've in Northbridge. I've got some yeah, for two I've years. Some terrible, <laughs> I've seen all the terrible memories of drinking in Northbridge. Yeah, I wasn't really, I wasn't a drinker then. I mean, I, I do now mostly at home, but I, I mostly just walk past all the violence on my way home. Yeah, well, you would there. Yeah, uh, if you if you yeah. didn't drink before, you'd be doing it now. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't too bad because we were a few blocks away from the the center of it so I, I knew where to sort of avoid and <laughs> yeah well yeah I, i've it's been a while since i've been back there but uh i, I hope to go back in, it's a bit cleaner in northbridge compared to what it used to be but it's still well it's i moved still, so like, yeah it's still the highest crime rate of any suburb i was reading it this week of the stats <laughs> so northbridge for people that don't know and i imagine everyone here doesn't know is basically like right next to the city of perth so mm. 
not that it's much of a city. No offense to, to Perth, but in, in comparison to uh, other big cities, there's really not a lot to do. Uh, that's no, why people tiny. talk crime. <laughs> they get bored. But it had, <laughs> had a reputation for like weekly stabbings on Saturday nights and stuff and clubs and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Legend. So what kind of stuff do you collect, John? Um, Johnny? Well, here's one of the John or Johnny? Oh, both are oh, good. Man. That's your oh. WrestleMania T. They just put to the reissue a couple months ago. He's got the pants. Nice. I'm loving that. That's my favorite figure I've got this year. He's got the whole uh, hood and everything. That's cool. I'm trying to get the uh, yeah. Superstars version, WWE Superstars. Yeah, I like that version too. And I got um, this guy just coming yesterday, Funkster. Oh, yes. That's a. And I got a Blu ray of the mail this week, uh, Legends of Mid South. It was pretty good. I was watching that this morning last night. It's got DBRC oh, and good. Andre and Jake Snake and all that. Classic stuff. Mm. But yeah, I get all sorts Ninja Turtles, Batman, freaking Pokemon, wrestling. <laughs> how do you how do you afford all that living in uh, in Northbridge? How do you keep all oh, that without people getting it stolen? <laughs> without getting it stolen? <laughs> oh, it's it's um. Well, I'm, I'm in Spearwood now. I used to be in Northbridge, but so it's oh, pretty yeah, yeah, safe yeah. here. But it's um. Uh, I just just bit at a time. Like I got stuff in tubs out the back. My rooms. I don't know, like Chad there, not, not a quarter of that size, but like you, I'm just surrounded in every direction by <laughs> shelves <laughs> and stuff. I just squeeze yeah. in there. So there's not a lot. But yeah, there's not a lot. A bit at a time. It's not a lot happening as far as toys are concerned in Australia, unless you get lucky. No. Nah, uh, hello to hello to Kerry. How are you, Kerry from Canada? Uh, but I was lucky to find the Masters of the Universe uh, Origins wave, the latest wave. I was lucky to find that recently in Big W. Uh, but uh, I, I found a couple. This is the first I've ever found in an Australian store ever was that wave with the two, the uh, Cobra Khan, the other orange snake dude, and the snake armor he made. Oh yeah, 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 uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know why it's so difficult. So the problem, another thing that I find is that um, with with collectors, that as soon as as soon as someone posts that they're out there, people go around and go just on in 24 like, hours. the shelves. Yeah, and I I I'm, I can't say 100, percent but looking at you know I, I I follow a lot of groups online. I'm not really in them, but I follow them for toy sightings because there's so yeah. few of them. Um, and talking to mates over east, like there's definitely more toys over in Victoria, Sydney, and that. But even then, I th I'm, I'm, my theory is in Motu for Australia for Origins that they are they get very small amount of units allocated per store per state compared to other toy lines. Like when I've worked in like warehousing manufacturing, the, the numbers are just they're like fifty percent what they should be. So I think that's why they go so quick because they just don't have them. I think they only get one box. Per yeah, store. I, I believe so. I have saw someone putting some out in a store, but that's one store out of, you know, several yeah. hundred. But still, the working theory is like, they, I look at other toy lines, like, you know, Marvel stuff, DC stuff, they'll have several boxes, those Origins. They've got like one yeah. little pissy box and that's it. That's as, uh, yeah, that's as good as we get it here. Uh, mm. Most of mine came from Ken in Canada until I started finding some locally. Yeah, I got, I got UK and Amazon US, so I got most of mine. Like, I've had two three figures ever at retail here the rest of them will import yeah big bad toy stores my friend and my enemy my the enemy of my bank card <laughs> <laughs> now uh chad i want to jump over to you for a second because i wanted to go through some of the stuff that you sent me recently uh my my bunk buddy chad uh, uh i want to thank you again for uh for setting that up uh allowing me to come and bunk with you we, i think we're going to top and tail it but we'll see what happens yeah 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 yeah, you know, we're gonna play big spoon, little spoon. Right, exactly right. So you sent me a bunch of stuff. Um, I, in, I've, I've uh, a little thing, a little personal thing before I go on and show some of the stuff. Um, uh, you sent me a shirt. The shirt's hanging up. The shirt doesn't fit. Now I intentionally asked for a shirt that doesn't fit because I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> so All I right, did. Cool. All right. I, I picked up. I picked up a uh, a cross trainer. Uh, so I've, I've I've got that all set up. I had to build it myself, which was an exercise in itself. Um, I've also been going on runs uh, and and then jogs and then and then um, struggling to walk on almost a nightly basis now. Not just because I've got the Savage Race coming up, 
but also because of that. Uh, and also, you know, I just need to I just need to start looking after myself. Slim down a little. I'm way too big. Way too big. Uh, and so when you said you were going to send me that uh, that Sarge shirt, which is perfect shirt, by the way. Love that shirt. Um, I was like, oh, I don't want to get it in the size I am now because I really want to get thin. Well, at least thinner. So, um, yeah, I can't wear it just yet. But, but my hope is to wear it when I get to Joe Fest. But you sent me some cool goodies. Um, yeah. in no particular order except for the last one because um, uh, no offense to the rest of these action figures the last one I'm going to show is my favorite yeah. uh, we got oh. we got orange phantom man yep nice <laughs> yeah uh, we've got attack of the bat uh, Sarge will make short work of this guy yep that's legit we got the blue meanie. <laughs> I'm gonna call mine that now. <laughs> what's that? What's that? I'm gonna call my Cobra Trooper the blue meanies for now on. Blue meanie, yeah, yeah. And the attack of the sequel with another bat. Yeah, you gotta have more than one, right? Well, Sarge can take on a hundred cobras and send them on the run. So yeah, yeah I appreciate exactly. the uh, the dual bats. Uh, but a really awesome figure. Um, and uh, one that, uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, this is fast becoming one of my favorite. Is this, oh, hang on, maybe I, should, maybe I should solo myself. Sorry for everyone at home. Look at it. Oh, my God, Hall of Fame. Yep. Wow. Oh. I used there. to have that signed. His hat's in there, but it's gone down that way. It's gone the way of gravity. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> You used to have it signed. What'd you do with it? I give it to a buddy because he really wanted it. Ah, oh, well, good on you, mate. Well done. That's cool of you. It's not like I'm Sarge poor over here. No, yeah, you've got uh, you've got a huge collection of Sarge stuff. Uh, rivals rivals my own. Uh, between you and um, uh, Rakondo, Joe Rakondo, we got a pretty good display going on. Uh, I got some yeah. new pieces. But yeah, Chad, thanks thanks for sending those over. Um, I'm going to I'm going to set them up so that my uh, uh, Sergeant Slaughter sort of classified figure can just bust their butts. Uh, that was your that, Christmas yeah. present, right? Wasn't that your Christmas present? Possibly, I'm not sure. Like it, it arrived. Uh, it must have arrived around near there. Okay. Um, I, I, I think Zayla's yeah. gonna love the gift I'm bringing him. Ooh, more gifts! More gifts for little oh. old me. Crash, if you show up to Joe Fest, that'll be gift enough. <laughs> but um, Crash, you're uh, you're putting together a USS flag for um, for Australian uh, display over here in, in in my my neck of the woods. You're sending me a USS flag, which is uh, tricky tricky to do, but appreciated. I'm hand delivering it to you at Joe Fest, so perfect. That'll I'll I'll bring a suitcase big enough. <laughs> Just stick a suitcase handle on it. <laughs> Just yeah, on it. Yeah, that's right. Oh, thank you, thank you, Gary. Uh, but yeah, uh, Chad, I do appreciate sending me that stuff. If it was Christmas, that means that I haven't had you on since then. Um, <laughs> not not that I haven't been trying, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was but, twice. Uh, it was twice. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, it feels it like twice. it feels like forever. It was twice. Oh, crash. Um, yeah, but so crash. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the USS flag. That is that is not a minute gift. That is very cool. Uh, very very cool indeed. I've only ever seen one in person in my entire life. Thanks, um, I'm very sorry. One way ticket. I'll just float it back to a show. Yeah, yeah. So I'll wait a second. It. Back back up. Crash, you're you're giving Zazel a flag or you're getting a flag to him? Yes, I'm giving him a USS flag because he don't have one and he's a good guy. He deserves one. Uh thanks, Crash. Oh. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Awesome. Too good. Uh, well, Big, it's uh, not it's not a hard to complete, but you have all the deck pieces, all the structure. You have the entire captain's command quarters. You got the little cart, the fueling station, the turrets, the hook on the side. You got a bunch of the ladders. Uh, 
Uh, that's probably a good. A kill haul, yes. That's probably a good 75%. Most of yeah, that, that you can that. get 3D printed anyway. So, yeah, that's still awesome. That's totally now, awesome. My personal one is 95%. Well, I know a guy that does 3D printing. Uh, <laughs> I don't do so repro can... or 3D. But thanks, Crash. You also picked up some I, items I for Space do. Commander. Oh, yeah. Some, yeah, some lights, some, some headlights or something? Well, yeah. yeah. I got them off the back of a Jeep. Yeah, it's, it's, for, the, it's for the flags. Little Fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not quite, as big as, not quite as big as the flag, but it is sea going. <laughs> Dude, I do not, cannot believe how expensive those Action Force, Q Force vehicles are. Oh, yes. all of that stuff is getting very expensive. Uh, Blues, uh, the Hall of Fame surge on the box is 2014. Uh, so the likelihood of finding that in a store right now is slim. No, but it never, it never impossible. impossible. Yeah, Check uh, the comic sh nearest comic shops and uh, sports shops. The, the cheapest side you can get now, they did December last year, they did the one where he turned heel, where he's in the oh, tan yes. pants. But yep. you can take the top off when he's still got like the army style top, so you can still, like, like that's my Sarge. I found him at a Target. And, yeah. He looked, you found it in a Target where you are? Yeah, it's the only time I've ever found a good figure. <laughs> for wow, yet. I've uh, the last time I found a Sarge. In uh, in person in an Aussie store mm. uh, was the original. Um, so I think it was. I need to double check, but I think it was this same body mold. But he was wearing the, the red, white. Like it was a red, Just white, and blue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I found that one. It was, um, and it says Cobra on the side of it. Yeah, which I thought was cool. Only, only other things you're going to find are like 50 million Seth Rollins and bloody Roman Reigns <laughs> every, everywhere. That's all you find. <laughs> Five that heel sarge, the... that heel sarge works as a um, as a makeshift warthog sarge. If you uh, yeah. if you squint, I like that. I'm impressed with some of the cloth goods they do on those figures. They're pretty decent for yeah. budget figures. Yeah. yeah, I do like that figure. Uh, the the fact that we've gotten so many sarge figures in the last year, I think it's like. Five or six, yeah. It was a dream. Ah, hmm. oh, sorry, blues. Look, I was looking <laughs> last night on eBay um, UK store. There's a guy that's got um, like cloth handmade little tops for the Mattel wrestling figures with all everything like your NWO or your WCW or whatever, just everything. So I'm hmm. going to order a bunch of them. I'm going to get one like Four Horsemen for a player figure and stuff like that. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, I'd like to do that for some of my um, most of the WWE Universe figures because the, the superstar yeah. ones are coming with soft goods. But uh, to have a, a jacket for my Sarge would be pretty cool. Hmm. Where's Vegas That's this morning? I'm not sure. Rob Vegas is probably still asleep. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, TJC, you've been showing off some of your collection recently uh, on your YouTube channel, your uh, your DVD collection, uh, and you shared with me um, some of those as well. And uh, some of them I remembered in the TVs, the TV shows. Some of them I remembered. Some of them I wasn't I wasn't quite sure about. Yeah, then I then I spoke to Gaz, and then he sort of sent me some pictures of some of his, and I was thinking, man, there's still those I got to get. Yeah, right. Yeah, Gaz. I think Gaz has probably got a uh, a library's worth of... Uh, am I saying that right? Library? It's been a while yeah. since I've been to one. <laughs> library. <laughs> oh, Kerry's turning 60 years old. Happy birthday. Very cool. Good for you, On S. Is that Saturday or Sunday? Either way, happy birthday. Well, it must be Saturday where you are, so it's probably Sunday. Unless S stands for something else. But happy birthday. 60, if only. April 20... I was way off. April 25th. <laughs> 28th. <laughs> April 28th. Is that Saturday or Sunday? April. Uh, April 28th. I'm going to see... Jeremy from uh, April 28th is on a Friday here. So probably a Thursday over there. But happy birthday for April. I won't remember, though. Sorry. 
you have to remind me again in April. I'm no good with birthdays. Uh, just ask my kids when they're disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what you do. Get it tattooed on you. You'll never forget. Uh, there was one. Point. Oh, that is a good idea. But you can say uh, it's a only... tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Uh, like good on you, good on you for the ones that do, but um, yeah, I don't know, it's not for me. Uh, it's not that it's a Friday. Oh, cool. All right, I remember that Friday the twenty eighth of April. Remember that, guys, because Carrie's turning sixty. Oh God, my anniversary's coming up. <laughs> Tattoo it to yourself. Did you look at it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I remember it very well because my my anniversary is April second. Okay, so the day after April Fool's smart. I <laughs> did. I was I was trying so hard to get it on the, on the first, but she's like, "No, nah, you'll try to back out. If it's on the first, you'll say you was joking." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, anyway, mm. uh, happy anniversary for April second. So TJC, your um. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's just it's it's like a, a space adventure with with puppets. Starfleet. Starfleet. Did you ever watch that Space Commander? Um, I missed it when I was a kid, uh, but when I uh, was sort of a, a teenager and I was really getting into uh, rock music, two of my favorite bands are Van Halen and and uh, Queen, and um, the. Uh, Brian May from Queen, his son was really into Starfleet. I think we mentioned this before once. Um, so he uh, was basically jamming with his mates in the States. He they'd just done Queen had just done Hot Space, which was a kind of a poppy disco-y album. And oh, yeah. uh, Brian really wanted to get back into the sort of rock feel of things. So um, he invited down to the studio some young some young guy, some young tearaway called Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> he was starting, <laughs> to make a, starting to make a big name for himself. And they just jammed out a bunch of tracks, including the, uh, a cover of the theme tune to Starfleet. Um, oh. And uh, so, as I as I was, you know, a teenager getting into getting into my rock music, I discovered this piece of music, and um, uh, I found it was from the TV show. And uh, I I managed to buy secondhand a book of Starfleet. I think it was called X Bomber in Japan, but. Uh, um, I remember seeing it and thinking, oh, I, that, that was on when I was a kid, although I didn't actually see it when I was a kid. So I kind of got into it sort of uh, retroactively. But, yeah, it's a good yeah. show. It's a good show. Yeah, it was on Sat Saturday mornings, I think it was on. Yeah. Just That's try not to get too attached to any of the characters. Uh, actually, I, do, I, think, I think you did admit. Okay, that Spoilers. Makes <laughs> that, yeah, that's ringing a bell now. I think you did mention that before. Um, Thunderbirds, I go. Uh, I remember yeah, it definitely looks like something Jerry Anderson would have done. I watched the intro, and it's a pretty lengthy intro, but some uh, some great moments in it. And um, I, I haven't watched a full episode yet, but I will get onto it. I think I uh, think Gaz said he watched it. Yes, Gaz Gaz showed me the uh, intro to it. Yeah, and and he sent me a link to all of the episodes as well. So yeah. Here's a question for Space Commander. Who do you like better, Diamond David Lee Roth or the Red Rocker Sammy Hager? Uh, that's, that's a tricky one. I've seen them both in concert. Um, uh, in case anyone doesn't know, uh, these are the two guys. Well, they're actually three guys who were the front man for Van Halen, but these are the two guys that everyone remembers. And people generally tend to argue you have to fall into one camp or the other. I really like both of them. I, I saw Dave in concert, and he was fantastic. I saw Sammy Hagar in concert, and um, a big, big, big fan of Hagar. The one thing I will say, and I don't want to get into a, you know, a, a argument with anyone, but I think that that David Lee Roth, bless him, he's a fantastic front man, but he's spent a lot of years chain smoking and drinking. Uh, <laughs> Whereas Sammy, yeah. Sammy has looked after his voice. So as much as I love these two vocalists, and I've got all their records, both singers, um, Sammy nowadays, if you listen, you know, you see Sammy in concert nowadays, he still sounds like he did 20, 30 years ago. And um, as much as I love Roth, he doesn't quite sound the same anymore. But uh, uh. So, uh, so push comes to shove, I'd have to, I'd have to stick with Sammy. 
Well, uh, I like the uh, argument. It's either Van Halen or Van Hagar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I'm, I'm, I'm going Van Halen all day. I feel like you're more of this kind of fan. The Who. Ah, <laughs> oh, cool. The Who are great. I've um, I've only just uh, I've I've listened to the Who. Uh, when I was younger, but I've only really just started getting into uh, in the last couple of years. Journey. Gotta have Journey. Oh, yes. I wish I'd turn my camera around while I'm in the chat. I ain't figured that one out yet. <laughs> Here's Kelly. Hey, Kelly, there's a link in the group chat if you want to join us. But uh, speaking of Sergeant Kelly, next week, don't forget, uh, there will be a live stream, I believe it's next week, uh, a live stream on Kelly's channel with the Sarge. Let's have a Freely's look. Comet. I'm just going to solo you for a second, Crash. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, dude, I got, I don't know, about seven or eight Kiss albums. My number one favorite. Love Gun. Oh, yeah. Got that one. I got Destroyer, Kiss Live 1 and 2. The original lineup. Yes. Tommy Sayer and Sanger are garbage. They should not be wearing Spaceman's makeup or Peter Chris's. That's the thing. If they, if they came into the band and they were basically themselves, I think it would be easier for the fans to accept. But the fact that they come into the band dressed up as previous guys, that's kind of weird. That'd be like the that'd be like uh, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr going out on tour with two guys yeah. from the Sgt. Pepper's cover band dressed up in the other guy's <laughs> outfit. It'd just be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's kind of like oh this is the only thing the Beatles I own and will ever own. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Let me, let me put, yeah. <laughs> I've been getting back into the Beatles actually. I blow my father, so I've started to really come around and appreciate um George Harrison and and his contribution. Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell. Is that Bad Out of Hell? Yes, it is. This is the yeah. best album ever made by anybody. Look at that cover art. <laughs> yeah. If I shave and look up like he's doing a picture, we would match. <laughs> now, that looks like a guy that would do anything for love. Except that. Yeah, he won't Except do that. that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, um, old school. Yes. That's a good one. Yeah, I bet y'all thought some kind of loser that listened to the Beatles and Genesis. <laughs> I'm going to break the balls much. on that one. I'm messing with you. All right. You keep don't kill me. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm getting too old. I'm just turned 34. I'm old now. 34. Get out of here. I've got nearly 10 <laughs> years on you, mate. If you're old, I'm very old. <laughs> <laughs> That's made me feel great. Cheers, Chris. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the wow. size oh, of that. Nice. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Who made those ones? They Jeez. are two foot tall. I got the whole destroyer set. I'm missing uh, Peter. And uh, Paul for the love gun set. Oh, nice. Pretty fat for all of this. Hey, <laughs> there it is. And I got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna share a treat with y'all that probably nobody's seen. Even a bunch of kids quite have never seen. What am I looking at? Is that aftershave? No, it is Kiss Perfume That's sample. Perfume. Salesman oh, sample. <laughs> Salesman sample only. I mean, you can't buy this. Cool. What's it smell like? <laughs> Rock and roll. Hookers and drugs. <laughs> Hookers and drugs. That's what it smells like. Yeah, that's the only thing I got to show, really, other than my Dinobots. Oh, I can look at some Dinobots. Dinobots. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, I wish I could put this camera on this phone, man. It just gets me aggravated. 
My son hijacked Grimlock. Luckily, he didn't break him. <laughs> He's one, that's so why he hijacked him. I had a Ooh. bunch of uh, Binal Tech nice. toys that I let my kids play with, and they got broken. Mm. Yeah, he threw, my, he threw a few figures around today that he grabbed. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh, Blake... Blake has uh, jumped in the chat and says, "Damn, so cool! Kiss is my favorite band." So he was uh, very impressed by those larger, larger figures. Who ma who made those? What what toy company was that? I don't know. <clears throat> but then we got. Is that the oh, Mingo that's cool. One? Yeah, that's yeah. the original. That's it. Hey. That's always my favorite member. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Now, when they stopped wearing the makeup, was that weird? Uh, a little bit. I have all forty original, and I got Basil's most favorite wrestler of all time over here with me too. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> No but I got Andre the I got to Andre the Giant to fight him though. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm gonna show Zazel what he wants to see. I'm gonna take it all for him. Perfect. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. Now that's I, I, a got, I got my box finally. Woo wee! Now that's a collection. You've even got uh, the uh, yeah yeah. Oh, so good. I have a chance to get a second one, so give me give me a little bit, and I'll, I'll send you pictures. Perfect. And you've got the, uh, the top, top right. You've even got the uh, Sergeant Slaughter as the commissioner. Oh yes, that right there is the most. That's the worst figure of his ever made. Wow! Now that's the finger of doom. Well, see. <laughs> On his paper is a copyright talking about the choking hazard for his action figure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so Blake What's says he's going to be uh, having an interview with KISS members soon. That'll be cool. Sweet. I'll send some stuff to sign. Uh, we'll tune in for that, Blake. Man, we got that one. I'm so tempted to open this one. Did I just see Alf on the shelf underneath? Yeah, I saw the Alf sign. Uh Alf on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> that little beer can, wherever it is. That's Gordon Shumway. <laughs> he got a cat sandwich also. That's cool. That is a great looking figure. This was a compromise between me and my wife. I had my Sarge stuff on the shelf in the living area. So the com Alf was the compromise? No. The compromise was something else. We'll talk about that off screen. Oh, I gotcha. Right. <laughs> I realized something when uh, my buddy Mark was over here when he brought me my the flag and stuff back to me. I have every GI Joe themed USA Sarge. Cool. Oh yeah. We, start, we started with this one, which is a lot of wrestling collectors do not consider that a wrestling item. Okay. Well, it definitely is. Hello, Nolan. This was yep. the first one. That's yep. the second one. Okay. This is the third USA Sarge, and that is the fourth USA GI yeah, Joe Tire Sarge. So your your uh, your claim is that you've got all of them? All four of the USA style GI yeah, Joe outfit Sarge. Well, uh, there is a inverted uh, Chevron version of the of the mail away. GI Joe, where instead of uh, yellow and red, it's red on yellow, or vice versa, whichever the whichever the case may be. Have you got that one? I thought it was my signed one, but I had two of these signs. So I probably sold the wrong one. Oh no! Uh oh! What's <laughs> it? Yeah. So there are, you know, aside from small paint uh, differences on the USA side, the the major difference is the the chevron colors are inverted. Well, shit, his, his Chevron colors are thicker than the other guys. Yeah, but there should be one where it's uh, yellow with red on top as well. That uh -huh. one's very hard to come by. Let's see, I'll make my, I need to get some glasses. Bad. 
What's your count up to now, Zazel? What's that? My count? Uh, I, I'm closing in on 500, but I need to do a proper one. Um, He's been better all day counting Sarge figures. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got another Sarge, like the signed one here, that's not signed. I'm, I, I haven't felt my do with it yet. That's still sealed in the box. My Zazel don't have that one. So you've got the the, the uh, intercontinental belt on the heel side? No, that's the world heavyweight title belt. Wing world Eagle. heavyweight? Remember, he beat world Ultimate Warrior and got the title. Yeah, purple belt. I got my I got my titles wrong. What do uh, I know? Sarge's <laughs> <laughs> best friend in the world. Stream knowledge is done again. Ah, oh, dude, um, I don't know how cheap that put that thing on. God. I, yeah, you need the purple we belt. We won't, we won't tell Sarge on the last one buckle on it. Where is Sergeant Slaughter? He'll be on Kelly's channel uh, next week. We sometimes have him on this channel uh, whenever he is available, but it's not always a guarantee. I have a funny story about this Triple T right here. Let's hear it. All right, here we go. When I first met Sergeant Slaughter, he had a bunch of like the batons, the little helmets, the shades, pictures and stuff to be signed. I've said, well, do you have any toys like this? I pulled this one out of my backpack. He said, we got all these cool toys, but you got the original. He got excited, man. Like he turned like a little kid. He started playing with on the table, rolling it around. <laughs> he took the back, the back part off and, uh, well, this piece is always missing. He's like, you got the original toy. You got the baton. I said, yes. Because that Sarge does not go with this vehicle. This is the actual original Sarge that is signed across the belly with the baton. This was the one that got signed with that vehicle. Oh, nice. That was nice. that one. And this one who has his baton also was the first three Sergeant Slaughter items I ever, I ever had signed. If, you, if was, you've still got your thumbs on your uh, Marauders side, then you're, you're doing well. I got this one with no broken thumbs, and the one that's in the equalizer has no broken thumbs. So I'm, do, I'm doing good for a change. These two I got signed at Joe Fest, the other two, Sarge, the USA and the Warthog, Sarge. Oh, cool. Now, what's funny was he asked, do I have his hat? I have a picture of me taking the hat out of my pocket to show him. I have it held in my big old, big old hand, a little tiny little green speck of a hat in my hand. He's like, oh, you do got it. I was like, yeah. I had to put on this one, though, because he wouldn't look right in that awesome, glorious vehicle with no hat. So uh, I, I'm going to get my figure. Hang on. Yeah, he's big vehicle at the top shelf. So the problem with that campaign cover is that it can discolor and you can get plastic uh, deterioration on it. And sometimes it doesn't fit that well. So if you get spots on it sometimes, yeah, I've got a few with spots on mine, but um, That's just know, dope. out of the out of the hundred and so of the Warthog Sarge that I have. Do you yes, have the painted lace version? No, I don't. Somebody done That's, that. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of using that campaign cover, I use the Sergeant Savage helmet on mine. This is uh, I've changed the tank top so they can wrestle in those pants, but uh, the head and the pants I took off the one on my Warthog <clears throat> side was, and that's the helmet that I prefer. Yeah, I turned my camera off because my, my bald head's throwing the glare over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, the Savage, the Savage, the Savage helmet works so well. And Chad, you Perfect. just picked up a uh, a Sergeant Savage Jeep. I did, yeah, yeah. I, I've been the Savage uh, up. Yes. Nice. That Jeep and the uh, the Spitfire. Oh, they're both very cool. Yeah, still sealed. No. Wow. Ah, oh, so cool. <laughs> yeah, I've been picking up a lot of uh, sealed Sergeant Savage stuff. Not did you get the Melloway? Uh, I think that was a, a pretty decent line. Um, obviously, the biggest issue with Sergeant Savage I think people had was um, the 
discrepancy in size, the size of the figures in comparison. I think yeah. that they would have done a lot better had they kept it the original size, particularly because in the cartoon you still had um, Lady J and Hawk and Doc, I think. Well, not to uh, mention the fact that they had already killed the line before it even released. Yeah. So, yeah, that was bizarre. Yeah, that's, uh, that's completely Mel, uncool. So. so which version is that, Crash? Uh, that's the mellow way. It's the Desert Camo Sergeant Savage dipping hot and cold water as camo vanishes. Nice. I'm trying to find the version. I think it was a, a convention exclusive. I'm trying to find one because uh, it had the tan helmet instead of the green one. I think that would look pretty cool with the with the tan he, pants. He has the tan helmet that convent, uh, Mellow way does. Oh, he does? Or maybe that's the one I'm looking for then. Well, they uh, put him on a card back, but he'll like vacuum seal to it. Okay. Which are which are like crazy. It, it, I will find the picture of it because I I know I have it, and I'll uh I'll send you the picture of it. Uh, speaking of sending me things, uh, TJC, you wanted me to bring this up. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of artists who obviously display all their work on a Tuesday evening uh, called Culture Cast, and. Cool. Uh, a lot of toys, sort of like uh, collectors and obviously and artists, obviously display their work on there. It's really good stuff. On a Tuesday night, so Wednesday morning for me. Yeah. Uh, so at Brian's Action Figure Reviews, well, I'll have to check them out. I don't think I've seen any of their uh, programming yet, but I'll check them out. I like it when, uh, particularly now, it never used to happen. It happened a little bit in the 90s, but then went away, where um, uh, action figure artists whether they be the card art or whether they be the sculptors, they don't usually get a lot of spotlight on them. And that's changed That's changed now, uh, thankfully due to the power of the internet. But uh, I think the only time I ever saw it uh, up until uh, Todd McFarlane was uh, I think there was one Marvel Legends, not Marvel Legends, wouldn't it be Marvel Legends? It would have been uh, whatever the um, Alpha Flight action figures were. They were Toy Biz probably. I think they had on there the names of the sculptors on the on the card if i remember correctly but it's nice when people get uh, a little bit of a shout out uh particularly because they put a lot of hard work in it it's easy for people to sit in an office and say okay this is what we want but then the people go out there and do the hard work uh and start sculpting i mean i run the guy. Com- I, I won a competition on a on shabby geek sort of like uh channel the other week and then obviously on my instagram i posted some of the art that obviously is some of the artists on there that they've, they've done as prizes. Okay. Yeah, uh, just want to give them a shout out because there is some really good artists on there. Well, I'll definitely check them out. I was going to say everyone did a good job sculpting except for uh, what we're hoping articulated Chad will do a car rant on and that's the, the new Falcon. Mad gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Can't I'm be responding a car to rant. Phil in the chat. So, uh, Matthew, how are you going with your uh, your blog? Uh, I don't think I've posted. I haven't posted anything in 2023 just because of work right now. So um, I'll probably resume in mid-April once tax season is over. Because basically you're, you're restoring your childhood collection, right? Correct. How cool is that? To be able to still have a childhood collection to restore. Where most of us are playing catch up and picking up the things that we lost and, you know, uh, things that we always wanted. You're, you've just got the task of cleaning them up and putting them back on display. Yeah, but I mean, there was, a, there was a point when I started when I was not sure if I was going to be able to save everything. Right. You know, and the only thing that I haven't been able to save was the sky striker. And that's why I bought two of the new ones. So. Oh, you got two of the new guys. I did. Did they show up yet? They did. And cool. fortunately, are you, fortunately, are you, I have, are you missing I, any parts, Matthew? I, I, I see Chad shaking his head. Slightly. <laughs> um, well, I got two of them sitting right there, man. Are you missing any parts? No, no, actually mine. Knock on wood. I did not have any of the, the QC problems that that other people had in fact like i saw your video and and i was kind of 
waiting to open them. And I'm like, nah, I, I need to, I have to know now. Did you <laughs> see the bottoms of my cards? How they're completely separated on the figures? No, uh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Um, hold on. Keep talking. <laughs> well, um, the, the new Sky Striker, is that a different mold from the classic one? Yes. It is, okay. Uh, only available on uh, Hasbro Pulse, I believe. Well, that new Sky Striker, I almost bought into it. I wish I didn't. Did you guys have you guys even taken a look at the resale? People can't even sell them on eBay for what they originally cost. Oh gosh. There you go, Matthew. That? Space Clan, I need to send me one of them books. I need one of them Action Force books. <laughs> well, they're available now. Wait, how long are they available till Space Clan? Oh, Commander? yeah, it was only till March the 3rd. So, oh, you feel like this yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, maybe at Joe Fest. Matthew. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The bottoms the of all hell? of these cards. They're all completely separated all the way across the bottom. You got to keep them separated. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm an opener collector, so that wouldn't affect me. I, I need to recheck mine because I, well, didn't. I don't even collect O-ring figures. They just came with the stupid fighter. So, I mean, <laughs> but if you're going to pay for a, I'm, I'm going to swear, Zazel, if you get, if you're going to pay for a Haslab, right? Premium shit, it should be premium. Right. It shouldn't be busted. Two right wings, no missiles, no freaking seats. Two figures right with arms. two left arms. Left arms yeah. 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 This, this well, thing is, a, it, it's I'm, a shit show. Do modern right. figures fit in it? No, only the O-rings fit in it. Yeah. So the 25th style and so forth won't fit in? No, and even to get like a fail safe in there, you got to kind of really? really work them in there. Yeah. Well, that's that's a has, has, has Hasbro addressed any of the issues or they just ignore any like normal? So there's been some people who have like like seriously busted cards like yeah, torn yeah. and you know completely smacked in the side and they've replaced the figures so yeah i'll give them credit for that <clears throat> as far as like two right wings and you know the missing missiles and stuff no they've just been replacing figures because for, for some reason they have a surplus of these carded figures which begs the question if it's a has lab and they only produced as many as they sold how do they have extra figures on cards ready to go mm. well well i mean uh, they probably got ex yeah i mean Who's who's to say? Who's to say? But uh, other than Chad in a, uh, a, a car rant, but um, well, it won't work. Don't have the other part. We gotta we gotta get <laughs> Wilhelm. We how are you, buddy? It won't work. Bar, yeah. I think there's another bar, so the batteries will hold in right. I think after the piece thing will work. So I'll find it. I'm just sorry. Gonna, I'm gonna head and mute crash for a second there uh wilhelm uh has been doing uh with um jim lago uh, a jim very lago, very the action force very yeah very comprehensive look into the uh valiverse action force stuff great videos and um they do this very interesting thing where they have a pre-recorded segment which is a great idea um that they play before they go live right well they play it as they're live so they go live and they play this video of pre-recorded stuff where they dive deep into the history of it and that way they can um sit and communicate in the chat but then the video keeps going so there's you know it's it's no interruption there and then after the very comprehensive uh history of a character or backstory or or, or comic story they then uh take that off camera and then they're live and in the studio uh, to answer even more questions. Uh, I've not really seen it done that way, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. It blew my mind when I first saw it because I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> Are they live now? <laughs> they weren't talking to me before. They're talking to me now? It's good stuff. That's a clever uh, So definitely go check them out. A good workaround, too, because they both have had internet issues to have part pre-record and part live, so it works out. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Um, but it's it's they're really passionate about it. 
I don't. I know. I only had the comic book issues that featured Sarge uh, for obvious reasons, and uh, so I'm not really that caught up in the comic. I think the comic isn't even going right now, or they've paused it for a while. The Action Force comic. But um, here's a here's something you you'll be able to get behind, Chad. Welcome to 2023, where the average standard is the new high standard. <laughs> it's called diminished returns, right? Mm. So. If you can so cut did, a corner and get away with it, you're going to cut a corner the next time, and then you're going to cut a corner and cut a corner. This is the problem with uh, adult collecting today, right? Is <clears throat> they can charge whatever they want because we'll pay for it. And we continue to do that, and we continue to do that to a point where you know the the they are cutting corners, and for the large part, they get away with it. Yeah. You're welcome, Will. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I've, I've made the argument before, Zazel. You and I have talked about it on numerous occasions. Uh, David, I am 48 years old. Sorry. Um, you if, don't look if a I day can get over 30. Oh, thank you. If I can get a figure from, say, 1986 or 87, faster, cheaper, easier, than I can get a figure that's currently being produced and packaged by someone somewhere in some third world country, you got a problem. Mm. Right. That, that, that's a problem. Motu Origins has some quality issues with some too. I haven't really come across any of the uh, quality control issues. If you could, if you could throw it in the chat, which um, what issues you've seen or, or heard of, I think the only thing I can remember was maybe so, some. Was it? I've, I've seen like loose knees on some of them. Speaking of uh, yeah, Motu, check that. I've heard of some shoulder joint snapping, but like you know, one percent. What's that? What's that guy's name? Frog dude. What's frog monger frog dude <laughs> frog i do masters of the universe man battle toad <laughs> just have fun so this is the, the this is one of the characters that uh lives beneath castle gray skull um awesome. his his image is on the sticker uh in castle gray skull of trying to come out of the dungeon yeah and they, they was frog like dude. let's make a figure out of it yeah they're looking like they were saying on um uh over on um weird fantastic toys he reckons they're going to start dumping a lot of the motu line at in europe and cheap and the stuff they've already manufactured it's, it's just a prediction not a fact but he's it seems likely all right well space commander and tjc if you see any of this stuff hit your side of the woods uh let me know if you see any in space <laughs> space commander also <laughs> which is probably more likely than us being able to find it here <laughs> Yeah, well, like, I, I I the, go check the moon. Yeah, <laughs> I flew down to the UK for some Christmas shopping, um, uh, in back in the sort of November, December. And those Moto Origins figures, I couldn't find them anywhere. The only place I found them was uh, there's a shop called BM, which I think mm -hmm. you guys would describe as like a big box kind of shop. It's just like they've got loads of everything in there from you know garden furniture to kitchenware you know a bit of everything and um i was surprised to see on the shelf they had the uh 1980s style uh he-man you know with the he-man uh the 1980s style face i mean they had he-man and skeletal head. that's right yeah that's all yeah. we get in australia was that they did they did a reissue last year they're just those two figures with the altered heads and that's the only figure you'll ever see an Australian store or the Battle yeah. Cat, other than yeah, the yeah. waves that yeah. go in twenty four hours. So, John, yeah. Uh, yeah. one of the one of the ways I've been able to combat um, getting these waves is to use the website. Which one? So, uh, I remember the I was able to get the wave with Stinkor and uh, who else is in that wave? I got Stinkor, Spider. And Green Teela, which is the, um, the Green Goddess. I got a bunch of those guys by ordering online. Yeah. What, BB and Tears Frog Dude? Uh, one of the, one of the I, I got, figures that I got was an extra. Yeah. What happened there? What happened? The Frog, Frog Dude is slow. definitely going to stick now. They need to rename it. Frog Dude. Frog Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Jim Largo... Yeah, Oh, by the website, I mean the Big W website. If you go into the Big W website, and oh order yeah, yeah. Them. so that's oh that's yeah, how yeah I... for the way yeah they never um for some reason I don't know some of them they didn't even put up 
when I go to the WA version of the website, they're just not even yeah. on there. Like all the newer ones, they'd never had had on there. Well, no, but I was I was able to get um, yeah. a lot of the later waves, not the ones that are photoed uh, onto that website. Yeah, but Largo's Lairs here, Jim. We were just talking about your show with uh, with Will uh, and how good that is. Talking of uh, talking of Valiverse Action Force. So thanks for dropping in. He's yeah. I I was watching uh, the Valifair stuff on Retro Blasting before I jumped in here too. And yeah, he's he's totally right. Hey, uh, Jim, I'm having Bobby on my channel in two weeks. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, we'll tune in for that one because you're going through uh, and doing a uh, a Joe Fest line of videos of streams. Yeah, Road to uh, Joe Fest. Yeah, yeah, Road to Joe Fest. Yeah. Yeah, every other Sunday from now until Joe Fest. So this Sunday kicks it off with Ed Schumacher, right? Who's the organizer, CEO, the brains behind Joe Fest. Got to kick it off with Ed, right? So I'm kicking it off with Ed. Then I'll do a neon at night. So I'm going to go back and forth, right? And then uh, two weeks after tomorrow, I'll have Bobby Valla. And then I'll start rolling out other people. But uh, I got a list. You're on that list, Zazel. Ah, cool. I can't wait. Uh, but I will wait because uh, you've got some much more important people to go before me. Um, <laughs> it's all just uh, timing, you know, people's schedules. Yeah, yeah, time zones, man. Yep. Uh, so Gap says he's got the Panther Collector's Edition uh, for 17 instead of 41 at a US Walmart. Nice. Is that the flocked one? Uh, and Phil said that he had some paint apps and chips of the paint, but Amazon swapped them. That's cool. All right, well, at least they got them swapped for you. Uh, I wonder if there is actually a quality control um, in toys anymore. Like, is there? Like, why would you bother? Like, you just put <laughs> them out there. Just like, good enough. Go. Send them have out. You, have you seen these people who are getting these uh, cover girl figures and they're taking them out of the box and that arm is just completely busted just off? Just gone. Yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't onesie, twosie. It's a lot of them. Yeah. Um, but I believe that was an issue for uh, other female figures, right? Not as not as bad as this, but I, I remember someone saying uh, that they had the same issue with uh, Zorana, maybe. I don't have that problem. Well, you don't buy them, yeah. <laughs> nope, I don't. <laughs> I do not. I won't. Neon at Night is one of the best, if not the best, 90s era G.I. Joe show on YouTube. If you guys aren't watching Neon at Night, then I don't know what you're doing with your lives. You is it not on the, the only 90s Joe show? Well, that's what I thought. It must be. I mean, I only watch quality stuff, so I don't know what oh, else is out there. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> I, I've never seen anyone else do a show dedicated to 90 to 94, Joe. And Neon at Night, what's a great title for a show? Just oh, brilliant. I was sitting around one day, and I was thinking about, you remember that show, uh, Night Flight? Anybody, does anybody remember Night Flight? It was like music videos late at night, and it was kind of smarmy. I was like, man, I want to do a show about 90s neon missile firing Joes, but I want it to be weird like Night Flight. I'm like, what am I going to call it? Neon at Night. There it goes. Yeah, nailed it. No quality control issues with Neon at Night. Nope. And it's back. It was gone for a while, but it's back. Um, me and Phil, we watch it while at work. So <laughs> I, I I really appreciate all the all the love and uh, support that I, I get for that. I mean, you know, you know how it is, right? That stuff, like, it takes a lot of work. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's really cool. I really appreciate it. And I, I lost my original co-host, you know, so that kind of that kind of set me back for a minute. But I don't really need a co-host, but I like to have one for that show. So. Uh, it's nice to to bounce things off of uh, yeah off of somebody else. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, Phil. Sorry, I gave away our secret. But uh, yeah, usually <laughs> I'm in the office doing paperwork, and I'll and I'll throw on neon <laughs> at night, and. Um, as soon as I see Phil enter the chat, I'm like, oh, yeah, he's doing what I'm doing, <laughs> pretending you know, to work. <laughs> the biggest thing is once I monetized, I had to change the intro, the outro. I had to change a whole bunch of stuff because I, I kept getting smacked. And if you remember when I did that episode with Kirk Bazigian, they actually oh, yeah. pulled it down. And I had right. to re-edit the whole thing to even put it back up. So, yeah, that worldwide entertainment, when they when they get fickle, like they'll come after me. So. I completely well, yeah. redid everything. I took a couple of weeks and I read it. A all lot of my stuff. content doesn't get monetized because obviously uh, there's a lot of GI Joe stuff. There's a lot of uh, wrestling stuff. Um, so yeah, I can't monetize any of that. Sometimes it'll be blocked 
in certain countries. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it'll be just blocked worldwide and I can't play it. Uh, and sometimes it'll be after the fact. So I've had something out there for like two years and then I get yeah. an alert saying, sorry, blocked worldwide. You can't, you can't and, play this anymore. And it all depends on what it is too, because if it's the Sunbow Marvel animation stuff, they leave it alone. But if it's like... I'm getting issues anything, with clips from G.I. Joe the movie now. Yeah, G.I. Joe the movie will crush you. Yeah. I did that video about Now You Know Cobra, about that that uh, North Vietnamese sniper yeah. named Cobra that was going yeah, yeah. after Carlos Hathcock and G, you know. That was and, a great video. Uh, I have like a three-second piece of music from uh, Rise of Cobra. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I just made peace with the fact that uh, I wasn't going to be able to monetize a lot of my videos when I started this thing. My whole channel was started with just uh, YouTube uh, clips, clips of G.I. Joe, Sarge, stuff like that. Yep. So uh, I still stand by it. It's good stuff. Yeah. And obviously, as Chad always says, do you like stuff? Yeah. Do you like stuff? <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually uh, I was actually doing do you like stuff logos for uh, coffee. <laughs> nice. Today. Yeah. I'll have to get one of those cups. Speaking of stuff, I've got, I've got behind me. I'll, I'll just go solo for a second. Can you see it? I took Dan Castle Grey Skull to throw up. See in the, in the, in the corner there? Ah, you see that thing? That's a bunker. Yep. The Quonset uh, Hut? Yeah, that's awesome. So I got that bunker. Here's the box for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a biggie. This looks familiar. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be using it tonight. For... It's got some really cool stuff in it. Um, I'm going to open some of it so we can show you. It's got some garbage figures in it, but that's all right. We don't care about that. <laughs> but everything else that comes with it is gold. Yeah, so there's... Um, Nobody buys the click and play set for the figures, man. The, the that is, click and play really... F-18 fighter is money. Yes, it is. Well, peacekeepers, that's it. So it comes with a little motorcycle. That's pretty cool. A quad bike. If you don't feel comfortable on two wheels, you can always go four. <laughs> so, I, won't, I, won't, I won't grab everything out, but I've got uh, some cool things that came in here that I thought were uh, going to be very useful, particularly when you make wrestling videos with action figures. We've got some fold-out chairs that can yes. be smacked over some heads. How does that, yep. how does that open? Smack a how do I open this? By smacking someone in the head with it till it opens. <laughs> yeah, done. <laughs> there we are. That was more complicated than my parents trying to transform a transformer back in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. I wish Obviously. I could buy just a whole heap of the cheers to go with wrestling figures, like just cheers. We could... They need. They do, though. Um, you can go to, just for wrestling figures, you can go oh, to oh, yeah. uh, Ringside Collectibles. Yeah, I'll and they've got... The browser, no? What's that? I'll, I'll give that a look. I've never bought what I was browsing that a few weeks ago. Um, I've, I've been able to get a lot of cool stuff from there. Um, Sometimes I get old, like, 90s Jack Specific stuff. We've got big accessories on eBay. What? What are you showing? What are you showing that? <laughs> All right, bring it out. Bring it out. Arr. Nice. <laughs> we, were just, we were just comparing bikes. Yeah. As soon as I saw his quarrel, I was like, I got one of those, too. <laughs> Actually, Chad, while, while you're on... You're having Bobby oh. on uh, shortly, right? Yes. So, Cutthroat Comics, hello. What's up, Chris? So I understand Bobby doesn't want to do science fiction characters. I understand that. I understand. No. But he could at least have a guy who maybe has remote control and operates the communication satellites, maybe. You know, yeah. not, not, not too sci-fi, just a little, you know. Go so guy space, space Commander? Space <laughs> Commander? Yep. All right. See what I can do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Got it. I'm here for you. Cheers, buddy. Tune in. To see. We'll spam we'll the we chat. Repainted. Yeah, but repainting, that's effort. All right. So one of the other things I want to show from this set is this really cool. Uh, it's like a, like a, you know, what do they call that, Chad? Overlay. It's a map. Yeah. It's a little overlay where they can talk about. Uh, where's it gonna? Uh, uh, there's, there's the, this is the mission, lads. Yeah. Look, Gaz is here. How are you, Gaz? Gaz? What's up, Gaz? 
And one more thing that I wanted to show, because as cool as that is, oh, you also get like, I won't open all these up, but you've got like barrels and, and crates and stuff. Oh. Um, you got some target practice. <laughs> <laughs> Mannequins. Barbed wire, GI Joe scale barbed wire. Great. Just, just great. The one more Ideal thing. Ideal for hardcore matches. I was going to say, that's a hardcore match, surely. I was watching one more, Steel Cage one more this morning. Thing. I was thinking I'll get some wire and just put it around my ring from the hardware store. Come well, on, I'll tell you, Chad, I'll tell you, Chad has suddenly become more attractive. Hey, it's the ma'am. Yeah. What's up? How are you, Hello, man? ma'am. This deserves a solo layout. <laughs> yes. The ma'am is in the house. How are you? I am tired. I just got back from the field. How are you? I didn't see you there because you were camouflaged. I know. I'm just a floating head right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just uh, I was just showing off some. I am I am in no way uh, affiliated with anything military other than playing with action figures. Uh, so hey. I, I I appreciate uh, you yourself and 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 Chad uh, for doing what I can't do or won't do. Um, it's it's not because I don't want to. It's just because I'm very very lazy. Okay, I would be no like good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, how cool is this? It's a 3D for action figures, G.I. Joe scale, where uh, it comes with little tanks and it comes with uh, um, little boats and stuff so that the Joes can stand around and uh, talk out their battle plan. Mm, I like that. Are you going to bring that to Joe Fest? Am I going to bring it? Um, no, but if you order me to, I might not have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can we can war game Joe Fest. Yeah, where are you going to Joe Fest? No, I wish I was. I will actually be in California back up. Oh there. right. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm bunking with your boy. So um I know. I'm excited you guys are. We're gonna have a pajama party. We're gonna talk yes. about girls. We're Ooh. gonna well, except for Chad won't because he's a uh, you know absolutely enamored. With, uh, Cobra <laughs> Commando. Yeah, there is no other girl. Uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to eat ice cream. Oh, uh, you have pizza. So I've got I've got a question for you, ma'am. Uh, only because I'm trying to I'm trying to get fit, right? Okay. Now now I've already got the struggle of being old and lazy, uh, and I bought a, <laughs> I bought a cross trainer and I've started running. But uh, what what is the best exercise to use for cardio? Uh, to increase my cardio because I got to do the savage race with Kelly and uh, you know try and slim down a little. What do you think I should be doing? Star jumps don't please don't. Um, something that I do and I usually recommend to people is good way to start your day. It's early, but get up at five and do fasted cardio. It and do what? Boost. Sorry, it's called fasted cardio where you don't eat, but then you mm -hmm. go and do at least twenty to thirty minutes of cardio. And that'll get your metabolism going. Okay. And then you'll be set for the day. And it I'll let you know how that goes. Right yeah. Get those endorphins going. So you'll be in a good mood, at least for a little while. If I have to get <laughs> up at 5 a.m., I will not be in a good mood. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'll let you know how it goes. All right. 5 a.m. And work out for at least 20 minutes. Don't eat. Yep. When, do you start, when do you start eating? Mm, I... Me personally, I usually wait about an hour because then oh, I'll yeah. drink my water, drink my coffee, and then from there I'll do my little breakfast routine that I have, which is usually yogurt or oatmeal, banana, and then some milk, just like a small glass of milk to kind of get all the proteins back and then replenish everything. So that way when your metabolism does start, it has something good to fuel it through the day and then you won't have like the morning grumpies because i used to get morning grumpies between mm -hmm. meals <laughs> i uh, i actually helps. i don't i don't eat that much in the morning uh and in the afternoon i'll be lucky if i if i make lunch but it's the evening that's a problem i then smash dinner like it's nobody's business <laughs> like it's like a, it's like a pig in a trough it's just it's so okay. hey be like that <laughs> Got so to back, back, back in my fitter days, I used to go to the gym at four in the morning. Yeah. Yes. There's a wait. There's a four in the morning. <laughs> yes. <it> is, yes. <laughs> when did that I'm, happen? We just invented it last week. Yeah. 
I usually try to get up between 4.30, 4.45, and then that's when I start my workout routine in the morning. So, and usually by about 6, 6.30, I'm done because I'll either do some type of cardio or I'll actually go to the gym and lift weights. It's quiet too. It's less of a meat market. When I go running, because I, I run at night, uh, when I go running, I make sure it is at night because A, um, I, I look like I'm having a fit when I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> legs just legs just splay out everywhere. It is it is like if, if you've ever seen or we just talking about it before, um uh those puppeteer shows like um <laughs> you know, like a marionette. I look like a marionette yeah. trying to run. Like the legs don't want to work, the arms are all over the place. Uh okay. yeah, it's it keeps it, when you're running at night and you run like that, people take a wide berth if they do see you. Because it's like yeah. Problem is when you're running at night. Puppets. <laughs> Problem is that when you're running at night, they think you've stole something. You're trying to run away with it. Yeah, that's, that's another true. thing too. Because I wear a hoodie, right? And and that and that in itself <laughs> makes me look like I'm running from something, not to something. <laughs> all right. Well, if I haven't slimmed down by Joe Fest, I'm doing it wrong. But all right, I'll get up. Imagine early. after Joe Fest, you will do by the time Kelly's finished with you. Have you heard of the Savage Race, ma'am? I have not. No, it's that. Where's that at? I'm not sure exactly where it's at, but um, it's nowhere near me. Uh, so what's going to happen is I'm going to fly to America, and then the next day I'm doing this thing called the Savage Race with Kelly, Slaughter, Daughter, Remus. Um, and basically it's uh, a bunch of obstacles uh, and stuff that uh, you got to do. Um, one of them was going into a net, a long net, and it's all twisted. And then when you when you get in there, you've got to roll around like a, like a crocodile and uh so to unravel it and then continue through and i'm and i said to kelly that if we're not laughing our asses off during that then we're not doing it right oh <laughs> another yeah thing, another thing that i saw was you have to lift up a tire and try and throw it onto a onto a hook uh so if i i'm, I'm gonna be absolutely dead by the end of my first day oh david sent the super sticker thanks david <laughs> appreciate one it. of those tough Tough mudders in Phillip Island a few years back, and that was good fun. That was like 15 k's of about 20 or 30 obstacles. Yes, uh, tough mudder yeah. is a blast. It's great. Fun. I, uh, fun. I've yet to do any of that, so this is going to be the first. If I don't get my cardio up, I'm going to struggle. Ah, oh, I'm going to yeah. be in Struggle Street. I can get you I a little workout weeks, plan that, put together, yeah. and all it, and you don't even have to go to the gym. Well, any help would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> okay. I can do that. It's like basic training like the army, is it? Well, I wouldn't know, but uh, I reckon that if I, if I send you the, the link to what the Savage Race is, you might have a difference of opinion there, ma'am. You might be like, this is nothing. <laughs> Uh, and like a true blue Aussie would say, you're going to be so munted, you won't be able to laugh. Here we go. Help me! Help me! Yeah. You'll be okay. You'll do good. You'll be, you'll be all right. Get a beer. You'll be all right. That'll, that'll fix it. I'll have a beer right after. Yeah. <laughs> well, usually at the it Tough Mudders, I think over. they do have a beer at the end for you to have. Well, that's worth running for. Mm -hmm. I'll run through mud for a beer. All right. That's go. a good incentive. Yeah. Yeah. It, there it's you go. Little, it works. The Tough Mudders a little bit more than that. If I'm not mistaken, you have to sign a death waiver for it. Yeah, I had to for this one guys. too, for the Savage so, Race. They sent me no an way. email with a waiver. The, the only yeah. way I could see you die, dying in tough mudder, they dig out these tunnels under mud, and if it collapsed, they, they've got no way to get you out of there. You'd be stuffed. You'd just, you would suffocate before anyone could help you. So that's the only way I could, other than falling and hitting your head, that's the only thing I could see would be that really dangerous. No, apparently the the one that was that was close to me, there was like some kind of like um uh pool you had to wade through and there were like live electric cords hanging down that could shock oh, you. No. <laughs> no, they, they, they had they had the one I did, you had to do the ground, you know, like this on your belly, and they had uh, electric above you and it just It uh, sounds like a saw them. movie. Is this real? <laughs> The zap was nothing though. It was like it's like like that. If you've had even a mild electric shock, it was nothing. But, uh... Did you follow the sign for torture chamber by mistake? Yeah, did you? Maybe. At the end, they put a battery on the end of your tongue. Just. <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> yeah, like if you did three of those at once, it was like that. <laughs> no, 
Man, when when kids first figured out that they could do that, that was the only thing that you were doing for ages. Put this on your tongue. And then the next person would go to the next kid, put this on your tongue, until that one kid cries and tells on you. Uh, (laughs) Good classic 80s fun. Yeah, or drinking out of a hose. That's Nothing really quite good. tastes the same as hose water, right? That's a <laughs> that's a taste of childhood. Mm-hmm. Childhood. Or going and finding, <laughs> you'll, yeah, you'll appreciate this, Zazel. I always remember going out finding a stick and a rock, and oh, yeah. you just hit the rock with the stick. That was hours of fun. If you if you found well, a good stick, you got to keep it. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, if you, if we the stick was got a multitasking thing because that used to be got a sword, machine gun, that used to be everything. Yes. Oh, if you found the perfect stick with what looked like a like a handle that you could hold to be a gun, or yep. if it had the uh, uh, what's the thing on the side of the swords, the guards? Oh, the uh, oh, the hilt. Little knobs. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Like, yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, but it, yeah, if you found if you found one of those, oh, God save my brothers if I got a good stick. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> I had such a collection. And at one point, I wanted to have like a gun rack that had all my different gun looking sticks, Uh, you know, like pistol shaped ones and little pump action shaped ones. Uh, For some reason, I wasn't allowed to have one, a a gun rack for my sticks. Well, they need to find some sticks to make that rack out of. I once cut the tip of my finger by trying to make a pocket knife using two sticks as the pocket knife by using a pocket knife to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got the What's scar. Driver that week. Uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do, but I had, I had like a paddle pop stick. I was like, this will work as the, as like the blade part. So I, I got on the concrete and started, um, you know, rubbing it against there to make a point. And I was like, now if I could just find the perfect stick to stick this between, it'll be like a stick pocket knife. So I had to go and get a real pocket knife to, it was not the best choice. And obviously it, everything went to hell and uh, having to explain what I was doing to my mum while my, my finger was bleeding. I was like, how did you do this? I was like, well, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. Yeah. But good old, good old stick fun. My stick was my power sword. Uh, are we still talking about the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is there gonna? Are we gonna have videos of you doing the obstacle? If there if there aren't videos uh, of me doing the obstacle course, it's because I've shat myself and died, and it's not safe. <laughs> it's not safe for YouTube. <laughs> well, is is the Savage Race before Joe Fest or after Joe Fest? It's literally the day that I land. So that that night, oh. uh, I fly I fly in like eighteen hours or something dumb. Um, and then I, I sleep for like maybe six hours if I'm lucky, and then we're up and we're doing the savage race. But so, you need to give the stick stick to Kelly. She can whack you with it to keep you moving. Yeah, yeah. Well, she might have to. She's essential carry me, but um, that'll be uh, no, <laughs> as that funny as that you, would be. No, that would be YouTube gold. You getting carried across the line. By across Kelly. the finish line, crying and sobbing. and has to be in like slow motion or for dramatic music like the war movies. <laughs> Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> or or a romantic comedy or carry yeah. over yeah. yeah oh gosh uh but hopefully i make it but uh i've already uh thought me and chad can go on an adventure and go looking for sticks mm. in between oh yeah yes yeah we're gonna it. go find sticks we'll go down by the river we'll find all yeah. the sticks yeah well we'll grade Dad, them. can you make him a gun rack for his sticks yep <laughs> well we all we also have to have time to go squatching remember yeah, so I'm spending uh, the week, the first week I'll be in the USA, USA, USA. And then um, after that, I'm spending a week in Canada uh, with Adam and we're going squatching. Rad. Really? Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, looking, for, we're looking for Bigfoot. Uh, but we can do some of that, Matthew, um, while we're in the United States too, because you guys have Bigfoot sightings, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some kind of like nature preserve not that far from the hotel. We can go there and look at Sasquatch. Sasquatch and sticks. That is the title of a video right there. Stick squatching. Stick squatching. <laughs> Don't Google that. Uh, okay, Lilith's <laughs> no. gonna let me borrow the wheelchair. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate that, Lilith. Much appreciated. 
uh, is squatching what Americans call hiking. Uh, yeah. So we're looking for Sasquatch. So Bigfoot. Sasquatch, but yeah, Bigfoot. Bigfoot watching, Sasquatch watching, or squatching. I was gonna, I was gonna do a series of videos, right, for squatching. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out on this, right? It sounds like a brilliant idea. <clears throat> so my first introductory video to this will be, "Hey guys, uh, I'm traveling all the way from Australia to go squatching with my friends. This is the first video. I've promised myself I wouldn't upload this video unless I found Bigfoot. So if you're watching this video, we have absolutely positively found Bigfoot, and this is the journey to Bigfoot, right? This is the Sasquatch journey. This is the squatching. What you're watching, squatching, right?" So already they're like, well, he's, he's uploaded the first one. He says he's not going to upload it unless he finds it, All right? Next next week, we're like, I'm super pumped, super pumped. I can't wait. I'm on the plane on my way to to, uh, to the Americas, on my way to uh, Canada. And we're, you know, between those two places, we're definitely going to find Bigfoot. Just reminding you guys that I'm not going to upload any of these videos unless we've absolutely positively found Bigfoot or Sasquatch, right? And then just keep going like that every week until we go squatching. And then... I hope to God that we find one <laughs> because I've already made the promise that I'm not going to be uploading these videos until we do. It's going to be a very awkward last video. Otherwise I'm like, guys, I know I promised you Bigfoot. And I said, I wouldn't upload these videos unless we found Sasquatch. So I'm either going to have some explaining to do, or we're going to have to find him. So no pressure guys. <laughs> but Who's That's how you will it into existence right there. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> it's me running around with no shirt on. See, either that was a new cosplay there. for you, Chad. Make sure you get the footage <laughs> yeah, where he pauses and look at <laughs> the camera. Let's go. Let's go. Now, Zizel, you have to come here, and then we'll have to see if we can find one of the Wendigos or Skinwalkers. Ooh, or Chupacabra. Oh, yeah. Chupacabra. Yes. We've got Bunyips, and we've got Yowies. Those are our yeah. those are our ones. They don't sound quite as menacing. Uh, so they sound like chocolate bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. They they did make uh, yaoi's into like Kinder Surprise eggs. Yeah, that's what I thought of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just see what Phil said. <laughs> what do you say? Just make sure that just, <laughs> just <yeah>. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! Brilliant! Yeah, thanks. You've saved you saved me on that one, Phil. Thanks. Uh, but the uh, we'll have to go to New Zealand. And, what have they got in New Zealand? That uh, that are similar. Oh, they had mower birds, but they were real. They were like giant birds of like five, six hundred kilos. Oh. Like bigger than Andre the Giant. <laughs> That's good eating. That's good eating. But they've been dead for a couple bird. several hundred years. <laughs> well, has anyone else got some show and tell? Sheeps and long grass. Oh, that's a that's a Kiwi joke if ever I heard one. I did get that um, Tyco GI Joe train set. <gasps> yes, I did get that. I got a I got a train set recently that I wanted to use for a um, upcoming story, uh, but mine's not GI Joe themed. But I do love a good train set. Uh, can see on local news Australian. Attacked by a wild creature while defending himself with a stick <laughs> with sounds of pew pew. <laughs> That's the eighties explained in one comment right there. <laughs> Legends. Oh nice. Ooh, so John, you've seen Did you watch the Royal Rumble recently, John? Because we've got it no, now on binge. I've mostly been watching 80s, 90s stuff. I mean, because they they scrapped the network last year, the Australian one. Right, in, I was in the middle of watching like mid 90s Raw and WCW stuff, and since they scrapped it and they're now it's gone to binge and they're slowly putting things on, but it's missing most of the stuff I was watching. It had bookmarked with the yeah, yeah. It's it's, <clears> it's not <throat> quite comprehensive yet, <clears throat> but I'm oh, hoping it's missing, that it up. still missing 90 percent what was on there. None of the documentaries on there. All the raw from like all through the nineties not on there. Yeah. Smackdown's not on there. No. I'm hoping they'll Just keep the dropping so more far. stuff. The classic eighties stuff. It, it's it, so far. It's all events. It's all pay per views and the yearly event. I, I think the biggest library will be the weekly and weekly shows. So that's probably not mm. taking all year to even get half of it up there. Yeah, that's true. 
I got what have you I got, got something for Space Commander. Oh. I don't I don't know if you've seen this, man. And I I, I know you're kind of into it, so. Did you see this? <laughs> no, I didn't. But I know yeah. I know Gaz will be is that, uh, that, is that that Chuck Norris one. No, <laughs> it's Mega Force. Chuck Norris is yeah. Delta Force. Yeah. Oh, right. The, yeah, the, Mega just Force. The yeah, yeah the we, Delta Mark IV. We should say that to Gaz. Scale. Oh, I've shown Gaz. <laughs> Gaz is going to come on, and we're just going to talk nothing but Mega Force. But I got to finish my TACCOM first, and I only have the uh, the Mega Destroyer and the Delta Mark IV done. No, I'm a, I'm a big fan of flying motorbikes. It's, uh, you know, um, the uh, original Battlestar Galactica from the seventies. Um, when they before did they the, ruined it, yeah, before they ruined it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of people complained about the series they did in 1980, where they were on Earth and they had the flying motorbikes and stuff. Yeah. But the thing is, I, I guess I was just the right age when that show came out because it would have taken a couple of years for it to arrive in the UK from the states. And I guess I was just the right age because of all that flying motorbike stuff. I loved that when I was a kid. And yeah, I got me. I, I, I those, quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. Who even if I watched those motorbike. episodes. So, sorry. Who didn't want a flying motorbike? They even added one to Mask. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I think uh, you know, I, I still get a good vibe from watching those episodes, even though I can see why people didn't like it. But I get, I get a good nostalgic vibe off those uh, those flying bike shows. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, I called it Mask Space Commander. We we know it as Mask. Mask. <laughs> Mask. Mask. Yeah, it doesn't work the same, does it? No. That damn English language. So we right. definitely look forward to the Megaforce video then. Yeah, Chad, I'm looking forward to you guys sitting down and chatting Megaforce. I, I can't think of two better people to be sitting down and talking about that than you and no, I can't, uh, yeah, I can't wait. And it's going to yeah, be I had, stuff. I had to add that to the collection, didn't I? I had to have Mega Force. Oh, he gave me, uh, I've got it over there. They probably the best poster for Mega Force. I've shown it on the show before, but I thought that was pretty cool. And we did a watch along. Uh, me and Gaz and the boys watched um, Mega Force all together, which was the first time I'd seen it as a kid. Um, and I didn't remember a lot of it. I won't give anything away, but there are some, there are some things in there that I was like, what? What? It's a good watch. Mega Force? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, oh, the whole thing with him and what's her name or what? Well, I didn't realize that she was the person who did the thumb kiss first. Mm -hmm. All right, she does that. Um, and also the uh, the friendship. Um, you know, I don't want to give away too much of their characters, but there's a friendship um, that you don't expect them to be buddies. But they're like they're like best pals. I was like, how are these guys friends? What? What? Do you know what I'm talking about, Chad? Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? It has to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. like, how are these guys? It has buddies? to do with one character who shoots a snake and so on and so forth, kind of a thing. So on and so forth. Yeah, but uh, definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. Uh, check it out before Chad does his video with Gaz, so that you know what they're on about. Not that you need to, but uh, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, check it out one time, won't you? Uh, wasn't there a kid movie about flying bikes other than ET? <laughs> uh, was it the boy that could fly? Do they have flying bikes? What are we going to buy at Joe Fest, Chad? Well, sticks are free. Well, I was going to... The General was on my top three to get, but uh, Joe Ricondo was nice enough to sell me one of his Generals, and he's going to bring it to Joe Fest. Oh, and my. I nice. I was totally humbled, and I can't thank him enough for that. Um. I don't know. I always work on lists every year. I work on a list and it starts small, you know, and it gets bigger, but uh, we'll see. So I'm going to try and find a Devastated. little something. Devastator. Did you say? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, I do like Devastator. Uh, even the yellow version from G2 was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I think then, it looked uh, pretty good. Orange one as well. Okay. Is there an orange so, one? I haven't seen that. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah no, there no. is. So, the actual I, I, orange one was the G2. The original yellow was the Diacone. Then later they did a actual Transformers yellow one. Huh. I have one of the big KO Devastators. Um, yeah, one of, one of the, the knockoff aftermarket ones. I, I like him because he scales well with my uh, mm. Masterpiece Soundwave. But 
I want to look for a new Devastator because it's also the, you know, Atlanta toy show. So there's more than just G.I. Joe there. And then a Cobra Detonator is on the list. Onesie, twosie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mostly just hanging out with you guys. That's, you know, oh, that's yeah. That's going to be the best part. So I'm going to try and pick up something, a little something for everyone that contributed to the GoFundMe. Um, I want to I want to be able to send something out. Um yeah. If I can't find anything appropriate, I'll have something made, uh, whether it be um, you know a mug or a uh, cooler or a poster or something. Something's coming out to everyone that that um, was able to contribute. My main focus is going to be getting in line to to get the the Sarge um, autograph. That whole that whole thing. Um, so I'll be lining up, and then when I get to the end of the line, I'll go back to the back of the line and start again, and just <laughs> I'll do that for the first day. You know, it's uh, it's actually not that bad. Like the the lines to talk to a lot of these celebrities aren't bad. Like Keone Young last year, I just walked up and just started chatting with him. So, I think um, a lot of them got, are just chilling. Larry Harmer is going to be there this year. Supposed to be, yeah. Uh, it it hasn't been announced on the Joe Fest site, but I was told I've, yes. So, I've, yeah, because I've seen I've seen uh, posts about that. Nothing official, I don't think, but definitely talks of it. Um, uh, I might ask that question tomorrow night. That's a good idea. I'll tune in and check out the answer. Um, yeah. And we'll find out who else is be there. It might be like, pass, pass. pass. Yeah. <laughs> but no as comment. far as... I think I'm going to try and find some Action Force stuff for my boy Space Commander. Hey. <laughs> um, see what I can find. I might, even, I might even rock a Space <clears throat> Commander hat for one of the days. Um... Yeah, other last than that, year, got... one, one seller had a Z Force headquarters last year, and I kept walking past it. Wow. The ma'am and I flew last year, and I was like, uh, if we drove, I'd grab that right now. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm not flying this year. Can't do it. Well, you'll be able to do a lot of those um, car rants on your way. I don't do those <laughs> all the time. No, but you'll be able to do more of them, though, if you're in the car for a long period of time. A, a, li a live car rant, live stream car rant. <laughs> We can't crash. <laughs> oh, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, that so is cool. Great. Yeah, it's so awesome. Arguably cooler than the actual G.I. Joe version. I would say complimentary. But yeah. <laughs> and and the Z Force one has two different variants. Yep. Let's have a quick look at those. I do, yes. Oh. Are you showing me your shopping list now, Space Commander? <laughs> <laughs> I want this and I want and that. Jammer. Jamming. And another one. I had to explain how Stalker is Jammer and Snake Eyes is Stalker to somebody, and I could oh, see yeah. like their eyes just glazing over as I was trying to explain it. Is that Gaucho? Tiger Force? Gaucho. Tiger Force. Have you seen the figure subscription service version of Gaucho Space Commander? I've not. No. The modern one? You haven't seen the modern one? Have you got it? Yeah, I'll grab them. Yeah. Cool. Oh, nice. Of course I got them. Come on. I'm, I'm very, very old school when it comes to figures. Oh, sorry. That's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wear the pen out, Phil. <laughs> Just send me the book. <laughs> <laughs> the it's whole book is a friend. circle it's just like this <laughs> why did you scribble in it it's not scribbles it's just a bunch of circles yeah there he is cool yeah Very he's a nice. giant figure yeah he's Skull a big boy awesome yeah he's a big big boy mm -hmm. big boy hi there What's going on thanks jill so uh welcome to chatting with chad <laughs> how's everybody doing i want to come and play in your toy room come on then let's go let's go is it nearly finished now chad you nearly done no collection is ever truly done it's it's almost there um this shelf right here is still like that that one it's still like 60 percent empty so you can see all the gaps in it. Mm -hmm. And then this 
this big box right here on the floor, that's all loose figures that I still got to get through. I like how you just laid your uh, Air Force in the back there. Air anything Force hanging from the ceiling? Oh. No, no, no. I only display my, my uh, fighters like that. Rocking it. Love it. <laughs> it's good stuff. I don't have I, that kind I of did, I did just do my um, part one Joe Room tour. I just finished it today. I haven't posted it. I won't post it till like Monday, but you were struggling really with like one, right? the, Yeah, I was because my I overthink things sometimes, and I actually started with footage that I had from my old Joe Room before I tore it down. And so the, the first one is the tearing down of that Joe room and what it took to actually make this room look like this. Because this wasn't like, the room doesn't look like this. This is a did garage. You, did you use the previous ones as a reference to how you want to set your new one out, or is it completely different? It's completely different. It's four times the size. So it, wow. it, I couldn't use it as a template like, oh, these will go here. and No. It, it took me like a week just to get the shelves up. Because nothing really fit the way that I was used to it fitting. I see you cinder blocks in the back there. Yeah. So what I use are they're just cinder blocks and they're called common boards. I just get them at Home Depot. So they're not they're not treated. They're they're pretty inexpensive and they're plug and play. So if the military moves me again, I just tear it down and, and it you doesn't take up a lot of space. Like, like all block. this stuff, this stuff takes up a bunch of space. But all those, when I tear them down, it's it's very small. It fits in a moving van easily. So. It's like a, um, a dorm room. But the way that I also think about it, not only is it useful for you know my profession and things like that, but GI Joe is military. It's sandbags. It's concertina wire. It's utilitarian. I don't me personally and this is just me right we all display and collect how we want but i don't want a bunch of those um glass cases i just i don't like that look and that's just me i, like I, I don't pick on anybody who has them but i don't i don't dig it so i'm right, with you i, I like and, utilitarian and I, yeah and i've spent my entire my entire professional career like i i dig fighting positions you know for a living that's what i do and so this I just like the way that it looks. Well, if we get the right stick for you, Chad, we'll be able to put together a road pig uh, cosplay outfit for you with a cinder block and the, the right stick. I knew you were a fan. I've got some great walking sticks right over here in the corner. The ma'am picked them out. Good on her. She knows a good stick when she sees one. She does. Cinder blocks and wood planks holding up thousands of dollars of collection. They are quite sturdy, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the sturdy than glass, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um an an entire ten foot wall of cinder blocks is quite heavy. So that's that's not gonna topple. Uh other than uh you looking awesome in your shades, which we all know is true, uh Lilith says that if you can't fit the flag in your room, Chad, I can look after it. Uh <clears throat> it is more than enough room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got a solo again. Solo. Let's put several in there. <laughs> yeah, I, I could I could run circles around it. So you got oh, the, the the flag is what ten feet from the wall, and then I got like four feet behind it. Yeah, this is a giant room. Anyway, whatever. You can be done with that. Who needs a car when you've got toys? <laughs> considering how long Chad had to wait to actually get that ship to him and everything i don't think it was that go over again yeah yeah and and it was my first father's day present from my wife oh yeah you'll so. remember that for the rest mm. of your days oh yeah i'm con i'm concerned about how i'm going to get a flag all the way over to australia i mean thanks crash but i've got some i've got some thinking to do i gotta work that, something out that one deck piece is three and a half feet by three and a half feet yeah, that'll That's have to gonna go be expensive there. to ship. Well, if I put it on the plane, I can just pay because you can't ship. You can't ship it. Um, you used to be able to ship things uh, outside yeah. of here, but you can't ship it anymore. Uh, yeah, there's they no, ran no into that problem it. with the Unicron. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There's got to be a way, right? It's freaking 21st century. <laughs> got to. Yeah. 
I'm sure something can be figured out. I'll just, I'll just drive it over there for you. It's fine. It's Perfect. It's a quick drive. If you look at the map, it's only like that far. You'll make it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great shot. We're good. John, have you ever been over to uh, the United States? Nope. It's going to be my it's first time. Yells about it. <laughs> I'd like to. Oh, look, I've got an offer. If I pay for the ticket, I'll help you carry it. Thanks. It's a two-man lift. Yeah. Lift with your knees, not with your back. Yeah, what's the biggest, longest type of bag or shape or thing that you can legally take on an airplane? That's a puzzle. Well, I'm not going to put it in a boogie board bag because that'll get all sorts of trouble. Mm, But you could get some kind of bag and maybe reinforce the inside edges or something, as long as it doesn't look like you're smuggling narcotics or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Uh, the biggest thing is I've moved the a lot number... of things in my lifetime so I think about the shape of the objects <laughs> of the thing and yeah. the number of packages it would have to go in that's the thing because mine came in five boxes mm. yeah. that was my first, first thought was multiple things you'd want to get your uh, breakable bits from your flat bits separate and, uh... yeah. yeah or you could just send them all flat and have, hope mm. you have some super glue. <laughs> <laughs> Flat pack the flag. Yeah. I still when you think... take the conning tower apart, just make sure you smash it yeah, down. Yeah, really make good. sure you yeah. really mm. crack that. <laughs> yeah. If it doesn't sound like shattered glass in the box and you haven't packed <laughs> yeah. it right. Shattered <laughs> glass you... and regrets. <laughs> yeah. Can you buy buy foam in hardware stores in America? I'd, I'd be using foam. Like any, any, what... I imagine you can buy anything in a hardware store in America. Mm. Because it's lightweight and it's going to give the best, better than you know, airbags or bullshit like that. Like foam is oh, yeah, going to give you real impact resistance. Let's go find a Home Depot in Augusta. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just move. All right, done. Just move. I'm moving <laughs> on. Don't up. go back. <laughs> moving on up to the. You're like side. living under a bridge, but you have a flag. I've got the flag <laughs> as a <laughs> shelter. <laughs> just move your house to the flag. That would be easier. Yeah. If I get a houseboat, that'd be easier too. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm moving, guys. I'm moving to the states by way of Space Commander. If you could, if you could pick me up in the space station or the Triad fighter, no whatever, <laughs> whatever's easiest, that'd be cool. We'll fly down and scoop you up. Cheers, mate. Like, yeah, so I did. <laughs> I was I was mentioning it earlier, but I did a shorts video of uh, some classic uh, uh, Action Force animation from one of the commercials, and I. Uh, very expertly inserted uh, images of Space Commander. <laughs> no, classifieds on their way too. All right, cool. We have got more than enough hands now to carry that thing. We're we're doing it. Yep. Like pack mules. Perfect. Have you got good farming? You got good farming legs for uh, for plow plowing for plowing. I could be a I could be a farmer. Combine Harvester. <laughs> hey, uh, Space Commander, are you a fan of uh, Faulty Towers? Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> TJC, not? are you a fan of Faulty Towers? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did used to like that. Yeah, I love Faulty like Towers. Duck. So that was that. If you don't like duck, you're rather stuck. That's a uh, uh, I loved um, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, that's his name, right? Emmanuel. Manuel. 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 So Manuel's uh, see, in one see, in one Mr. scene. He's like there. Um, Basil goes. There's too much butter on those trays. And he goes. <laughs> yeah. He goes. There's too much butter on those trays. And he goes. No, no, not on those trays. It's uno dos tres. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the reason why I bring it up is because apparently they're uh, they they're rebooting it. It'll be Basil and his daughter now running the uh, the faulty towers. But uh, I believe that the actual building itself has been um, demolished or is at least in disrepair. Uh, it is yeah, an it exemplar fun. of comedy. Oh, it's such a good show, and I think it only had. Like one or two seasons, right? Two seasons. Yeah, I think it was one, one, 12 one episodes, I think. Yeah, one it's, it's one run through that they just split in half for airtime, but the, the oh, writing's okay. fantastic and it's so heavily written and layered. 
the building burnt down. I, I, I still think one of the favourite ones of that is when he's taking a tree branch to the bonnet of his car or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the, the one where he drops the, the moose head onto his head and then ends up um, coming back to work slightly brain damaged. <laughs> uh, and then the, the Germans, he goes, <laughs> uh, well, we won't, okay, anyway. It's good show. Good show. Good show. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was funny uh, that uh, uh, the the culture of the internet now is that you can't do anything because people get triggered. And apparently, a lot of people are triggered that they're rebooting it into a, into a new series. But I think it's great if really? if he's coming back as Basil Fawlty and bringing his actual real life daughter uh, to be his daughter if on he, the show. I think that's great. If he's writing it, I don't have a problem with it. That's fine. If, it, if he's in it, that's good too, right? Yeah, but I mean, he created and wrote the entire original thing. It was his original concept. Yeah. Um, Is this one of those BBC he... shows? You've never yeah, seen? Do you, yeah, do you, do you catch him over your John where Cleese. you are, Chad? Do you see any of them? The name sounds familiar. Like I've seen Black Adder. I'm a big fan of the Young Ones. Oh, oh yeah. If you I've like those, yeah, Black you're Adder, yeah. yeah. I've never uh, seen it, Faulty Towers. Have you seen? Um, uh, Monty Python. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's it's, it's one Monty of the guys Python. from Monty Python. Yeah. Which one? Uh, John, Cleese. Name? John Cleese, yeah. Oh, it's John Cleese? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. John this he, is he, fantastic. He wrote, like, the entire original one. show. Mm. I'm trying to think what else John Cleese did other than... Fish Called Wanda. Well, he's oh, Fish Called Wanda was awesome. not, He didn't direct mm-hmm. it. He's in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's in it. He was also uh, he had a cameo in the Western. Um, oh, I know this. Um, oh God, why has it escaped me? Silverado. I was just about to chime in. Uh, <laughs> so was he in Silverado? <laughs> yeah, he was. In, he was a sheriff in in Silverado. Runs him out of town. I just remember like the young Kevin Costner and like, look at how young he is. He's brilliant in that movie. He is absolutely yeah. brilliant. I think it was his first major role was in Silverado. Yeah. Such a great Western. Such a great That's movie. A One of my favorite. Movie. One of my favorite Westerns. Um, and I, I like it because it starts off like a, a great intro to that movie um, mm-hmm. where he's in the, in the shack and then it opens up into the grand scheme of the, of the Western uh, frontier. Um, frontier? That's not what I'm looking for. Um, yeah. yeah. Is it? Oh, good. Yeah, it's applicable. Um, and then um, after that, it's like a side quest movie for a little while before they get into the real meat and potatoes of it. You know, yeah. he's lost his hat, he's lost his gun, he's lost his horse, yeah. uh, and he's got to sort of collect them all as he as he goes along. <laughs> uh, classifies going Sunshine Coast Motu shopping. Fingers crossed. Oh, apparently they're showing up in Toy Worlds too now. Um, uh, you might be interested in that too, John. Um, I've seen yeah. some toy, some pictures of toy yeah, world I'll check them when I get past. Um, and they've they've apparently showing up some of them there too. So check them all out, people. Mm. Uh, Lilith gets triggered by people who claim they got triggered. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> maybe they need a trigger. <laughs> These are my trigger finger. Speaking of which, oh, thanks, for, thought, thanks for tuning in, Space Commander. Are you going to make the rest of me? <laughs> I'm still uh, still working on getting someone to cover the space station that weekend. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on it. So, so Scooby Pete's coming over, is that right? Scooby Pete's coming over, yeah. Are you guys are you guys going to um, uh... Colville? Yeah, what's that big thing in London? Oh, they're, the, I'm, I'm not going meal. to celebration, but they right, are. Right. That's the London Eye. Now, yeah. <laughs> the other big thing in London. <laughs> Yeah, Col- yeah, I was up in Colville just um, uh, just before Christmas. Yeah, so I'm trying. I'm still trying to work something out, but I'll uh, I'll, I'll keep you posted, mate. I'd yeah. like to go. Yeah. So what's happening? What's the event? Well, Take we it just, away, TGC. Well, Scuba Pete and that is coming over, obviously for Star Wars Celebration nice. in London. But he's going to pop up to the rest of Vintage Toy Store. So I said I'd drive up and meet him up there and just go. Uh, have a walk around the Cove, the old power toy site, and what have you. Oh, Action no. Man Road War. When you say the toy store, is that them likes to have the channel? Yeah, the toy shop on tour, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah. Make sure you he take lots is, of photos, TJC, so we can show it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Let us know if you find a Sergeant Slammer. 
<laughs> I was going to say, is there anything you guys want me to go for while I'm in there? I could send it back with Scuba Pete, you see. Obviously, then obviously oh, I'll pass it on. I want a sea lion. I want a sea lion so bad. Sea lion, right? A real sea lion? I'll, st I'll start yeah. making a list. <laughs> <laughs> Space Commander's going to show it in his book. Yeah. Well, actually, my younger, my younger brother has the sea lion. Actually. Actually. <laughs> we can't find it now. What? If you can't find it, then it doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, it exists. It exists. It exists. Do I remember Kingswood County? No, I don't remember it. What's it about? It's about kings in the woods looking for sticks. Kingswood County. <laughs> yep. Sticks. Have you have uh, have you watched their show, Chad? Have you watched their toy shop one tour? Yes. <laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> Correct answer. Yes. Yeah. There it is. Oh. Oh, that is cool. Hi. Oh, yeah, so gorgeous. I think you've shared that before. Yeah, my, my younger brother has it. It's really cool because the, the front of it opens up and are these are these great big pincers. Oh, so yes. you can just grab your grab your enemies. And the side pods, uh, the side pods come off as well. You can see in this picture down here. Uh in these little little ride on underwater bikes. Yep. Yeah, that's cool. Really cool. Me, that was always like the uh, action force killer whale. Yeah, it's it's just it's so toyetic. It has all the play features. It's awesome. It's hard to find complete. It is exactly the Action Force version of a killer whale, and I love it. It's such a great vehicle. Uh, yeah, I've I've a lot of what I know, which isn't a lot, and that's just in general. But a lot of what I do know to do with Action Force comes from Space Commander and his and his uh, and his knowledge of uh, Palatoy Action Force and uh, and his. Famous tomb or tome? Tome. tome. <laughs> Actually, tome. The tomb oh, is a yeah. completely different thing. That's that's right. that's just, Don't do that. That's just, that's just the East Anglian accent that TJC and I share. It's a tomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm slowly know. working my way through all the Action Force stuff. So I have like, you know, I, I'd get this vehicle and then I'd get that vehicle and then I would get the, I got the ATC, I got the Robo Skull, I got a complete <clears throat> shadow track and I'm just like onesie twosie. I'm just chipping away at it. Yeah. Sea I'm Lions on that short list. The, the ATC Force headquarters. The ATC is the um, APC re redone, right? Right. So Z Force, I'm, but it's the, the whole back is like a command center and it's got yeah. a medical bay and the, the, the turret on the top is so much cooler. Yeah, they took a good utilitarian vehicle and they ramped it up to eleven. Yes, I love them, it. Did any of them ever make it back to the states? Did uh, did they adopt it and then probably do a different variant of it or anything or not? No, no. It's it's interesting because the the twelve inch um, uh, GI Joe the the uh, the advances that Palatoy made to Action Man. Mm. Then got sort of uh, exported back to the states and incorporated into GI Joe, which I thought was uh, yeah. a, a pretty well, cool Tony thing. Talked that, about that, but on Alan Toys, but not with the yeah, but not with the three and three quarter. Yeah, not with the not with the little figures, not with the bendy figures. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the the bigger figures. I thought it was kind of cool that you know some of the some of the things about GI Joe, which are so iconic, um, actually came from our side of the pond. Mm -hmm. Say so ATC yeah. and Ken shows up. <laughs> there you go. Ken's got FOMO. Well, here's a question for you, Space Commander and TJC. Uh, how is Britain reacting to South Park's episode on uh, Megan? Everyone loves it. Huh? <laughs> Everyone loves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think a lot of people feel um, let down by uh... <laughs> you know. You... <laughs> We give them a royal wedding, you know, do, do they think that people just go to, you know, oh, we're getting married, we're getting married in the UK. Oh, well, you'll have a golden chariot, cha um, carriage then. No, yeah. it's a royal wedding. It's very specific to people in the <laughs> royal family. No, we don't want to be royals anymore. In fact, everything we've been given on a plate, we're just going to shove it back in your face. And Sorry, I'm going off on a bit of a rant now. But <laughs> I want my privacy. I want yeah, my privacy. You, you only got to do them in the car. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people are let down by their uh, attitude and behaviour, you know. And like, 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 like the saying on South Park, you know, if you do want to um, step back from royal life, uh, I mean, um, Prince uh, Edward has kind of stepped back from royal life, but he's done so in an intrusive way. To to say I don't want to be in the public eye, 
and then release a book about it and go on this uh, <laughs> this, this this world tour, the privacy world tour, demanding to be left alone. Go, go on every TV channel you can and demanding to be left alone. You know what a letdown. You know Ugh. that all sounds so tiresome. That's why I love being American. The most I got to deal with somebody is eight years. Now get out of my face. <laughs> well, it's not like the royal. It's not like the royal family are really, uh, really out there making. I mean, I don't even as as an Australian. You know, we we have some connection to uh, the monarchy, obviously, but it's not like they do a lot. Um, but I mean, those do, two specifically make so much noise that, like, even we hear about it all the time. And I'm yeah. like, shut up. Shut they up. were on Oprah for for Pete's sake. For Pete's sake. Um, but they, I mean, they, one they, good thing. One good thing about it is this year when he gets his coronation, I get an extra day off work, so it's not a bad thing. Yes. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. <Yeah. laughs> we got, we got the Queen's too. birthday. We get all the public holidays and stuff. Um, but other than doing things like um, uh, you know charity stuff, which is great. Other than that, what do they really do? Other than just oh, be hang out loyal. on the coins. Yeah, hang yeah, out on the coin. Yeah. It's it's supposed to be honorific, but. I mean, um, interestingly though, because uh, a lot of you guys are, you know, uh, around the world, are you guys aware of someone called Major Hewitt? Hewitt? Yeah, Major Hewitt. H e w i t t. No, I have no idea. Hewitt, you're talking well, about. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to get your tra channel struck or, you know, and my six come around with sniper rifles. Whatever. Controversy. But, oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. Just. Just. Uh. Just look up who Major Hewitt is, and then compare it to a picture of Harry. And uh... oh, oh, Daddy, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> who was Major Hewitt hanging out with uh, back in the early eighties? And is he ginger? Guy, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is where you need that slogan at the bottom, there and said it does not reflect the channel's. Yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't suggested anything. I'm just, I'm just putting the guy's name out there. You know, have you guys heard of him? Well, I don't sort of slaughterhouse is not. <laughs> yeah, you need to put it in the ticker, and then also in there, you need to put like, let us know if you find Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> just let it all roll. Video will not be uploaded unless Sasquatch is found. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah. All right. Oh well. I yeah. I'll look it up now. I'll side by side. Uh, apparently there was uh, somebody else claiming to be uh, King uh, Charles' son for a while there. That sort of pops oh, up yeah, every so often. Yeah. Uh, long live the king. Anyway, uh, any other any other uh, hot topic before we wrap it up? No. All right. Well, the the next uh, the next members streams, uh, I believe, is going to be another games night. Uh, with Games Master Adam from Go Figure, uh, so uh, that'll be a bit of fun. Uh, Space Commander will win all of the things again. Uh, I, I was so thinking about that because because I've, I've won two of them on the hop now. I think if um if, if I did if I were to win uh, win the third one, I'd um I'd probably end up donating it to. <laughs> you know, I, I feel bad flex, if I was just picking up all the toys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, I came in a close second last time. <laughs> It was considering that Space Commander knows very little to do with GI Joe. He sure likes impressed. to win a lot of this stuff. <laughs> if it's Action Force, he's all over it. When it comes to GI Joe, he's like uh, the refrigerator. <laughs> the refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I knew about the refrigerator. You know, he's oh, just saying he's going to the refrigerator. Uh, we got a trigger. Now they're triggered. Uh, but yeah, we'll get back into the monthly game streams. I think that's a bit of fun. <clears throat> some good interaction uh, and some good prizes from Games Master Adam. So we'll hop Who on that next one. Like questions. Adam comes up with all of it. So um, they, they were fantastic. Adam, yeah. So uh, he he comes up with the prizes as well, uh, which I think is also pretty epic. And uh, sometimes they are three D printed, one of a kind stuff that uh, that that is available. Speaking of 3D printed things, Tuesday will be Mo Tuesday Night Live on Adam's channel at, at Go Figure. So provided Phil is up to it, uh, we'll, be, we'll be going live. I know he's unwell at the moment, but we'll be going live Tuesday night, which is probably uh, Monday morning for the US. But sorry, guys. Sometimes we've got to do things for our time zone too. Uh, but I want to thank everybody for joining us. 
uh, Matthew Comstock. Where can everyone find your um, your blog, buddy? It is joerestore.wordpress.com. All right, Joe Restore. I'll, I'll add that after the fact into the uh, description of this video. Articulated Chad, thanks for joining us, buddy. Where can everyone find you? At Articulated Chad on YouTube. Well, that makes sense. TJC, yeah. uh, thanks for joining us, my friend. Uh, have you got? Oh yeah, you've got. You've been uploading some videos lately. Where can we find you? Well, I've just got a few videos, obviously game videos and the little collection videos I've just started adding up. It's just early days yet. I'm just starting off to do a little bit here and there. But most of my collection is obviously in storage at the moment, obviously because uh, having a little boy he just tends to take over the house. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so the channel name is just TJC. That is, yeah. Bat fan John, uh, have you got a channel or anything that we can find you on? Uh, I do all sorts of rubbish, none of it worth looking up. You can find me in the backyard, and I'll be sorting out more rubbish out there today is what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Let Zazel know, know if you find a good stick. Yeah, if you find a good stick, uh, yeah, send us a photo. Pl plenty. And There's actually a dog that walks down our street, comes back every day I sit out my window, and he has a yeah. stick like as big as like, wide out like this out of his mouth from the local park. Every day he loves getting the biggest stick possible walking down the street with it. That's awesome. a dog after my own heart. Hmm. Uh, Payne's Toy Sample has uploaded a new one on his page now, a new video. Uh, so definitely check out Payne's channel as well. Uh, Space Commander, other than the prize being a new fridge, uh, <laughs> what have you got lined up? Have we got a incoming transmission soon? Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, all new episode coming up in the next few weeks, I think. So have we got we a guest over... lined up yet? Um, no, oh no, we haven't. But we, yeah, we haven't been talking about getting uh, one or two people, haven't we? So we will uh, put the put the transmission out there and see who responds. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll leave that up to you to figure out. Um, I'm sure you're more. Oh crikey! Don't leave things up to me, mate. They'll never get done. <laughs> <laughs> but I literally do a games night that I have no control over. Uh, that <laughs> definitely delegated to poor Adam. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so next next one, we might even be able to twist Adam's arm and come up with a games night sooner than next month, uh, just to give everyone a, a little bit of a fun activity to do on a weekend. Uh, but thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Uh, subscribe to everyone here that has a channel. Give them a big thumbs up. Show, show them some love and a thumb kiss. And we will see you on the next one. What song am I going to go out with? Uh, who wants to hear? Let's go with let's go with the space commander. Why don't we love this one, don't we? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>